So my save from the last casual game is gone. So we're gonna have to start new. But that's not a big deal to me. I was gonna do that anyways, because we're gonna get new cases anyways. So once again, there are three difficulties I can do. There's casual, which is uh, what I'm going to do because I can actually read my fucking, like the stories if I do casual. Uh, there's normal, which I'll probably do after if I win casual, which I might end up doing tonight. Uh, which is 10 nights total for those who want a challenge. Uh, casual mode doesn't have permadeath, it's basically just a learning game. And also for me to read, because normal, uh, the quota is too high for me to read the story. And detective, which means there's no threat to 7 nights total for those who just want to solve cases. Which is just the reading, but with no horror elements at all. Hey, hey man, check it out of your system, alright? You guys, you guys can only say casual if you don't, um, if you don't get scared by the jump scares, okay? Because I'll see a lot of you guys that say casual gamer if I go into your, like, chat logs right now. I'll also see you guys saying, please, turn off jump scares. Turn, turn off the jump scares. Turn those off. I, I don't want to see those. So, like, I don't know. I might be playing on casual, but at least I'm not a pussy bitch. You know what I'm saying, casual? Skip. When she Skip. was a kid, the Luna Skip. expired. So yeah, if you don't know what this game is, don't like jump scares. Hey, look, Chad, it's a tip for you up there. Look at that. Hey, look at that. That was made for I you. I should get to my computer and get the night started. If you don't know what this game is, I'll summarize it. Okay, for people that are coming in new, this is a horror detective game where we are basically solving crimes that have been submitted to us by going through people's private information and social media to find out if they're a psycho or not. And if they're a psycho, we have to submit the various evidence to prove that. Or we have to shred the file because they're not actually doing anything illegal. So we're basically, we got a quota every night of how many cases we have to solve. Uh, whether that be shredding them or not. Uh, and all during that time, uh, maniacs are going to be trying to break into our house. Okay, that's pretty much the game. Maniacs can be breaking into the house. If you're scared of jump scares, you can press the pussy option, uh, which turns it off, so that you can, um, I guess, play the game like a coward. Okay. Well, chat. Let's make sure all the windows are locked. It's a big night tonight. It's a big night. I gotta turn up my audio so I don't get, like, fucking... Like, surprised. I mean, I guess having my audio lower makes it easier for me to, like, not be scared, but you know what I mean. The windows are open. We want to make sure these are all closed. I don't want any problems. That goes to the toilet. There's no window there. All right. Turn off jump scares, please. Everyone laugh at that guy. You guys, it's okay to laugh at that guy, if you want. You guys can, like, laugh at that person. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. Bolos are the two guys that are trying to kill us. There's this guy, who's not smiling in this picture, but he does usually smile. And this guy, who uh, likes breaking into our house through picking the locks on our windows. Uh, we're gonna... Don't worry, chat. We're gonna take care of that. Don't you worry about these guys. Right now, we got a quota, Okay. We have to finish two jobs today. These are our security cameras. We use these to figure out if there's a psycho outside. Right now there's no one, but that could just mean there's someone in the house already. I think I just saw someone. No, it was just in my imagination. All right, chat. Let's go to the report desk and get this started. Suspicious... Uh, suspicious person report. Jason Floyd. We've actually already gotten this guy. I was under the impression that we'd be getting, we wouldn't be getting repeats this early. Crazy antics. Watching a movie a few minutes later, I heard screams again, but much louder this time. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna restart since we, we literally already got a repeat. I'm gonna quit to main menu and like just get it, just restart and see if we get it. Don't and see if that was just a, some bad first time luck on that. Cause I'd rather do a new one for the, for like the first one of the night. How do we already get- There's 200 cases in the game. They updated the game so that there would be less, like, weighted stuff like that. Because usually you get a lot of the same things until you get deeper into the game. 
which means I already know the solution to that one, uh, which is fine. But for the first one that you guys see, if you don't know the game, I I'd like to, to I'd like to have a case I can actually time. solve in real time that I don't know. So let's let's just I'll stick with whatever I get this time. Promise. Fingers, fi no fingers crossed. Promise. Pretty sure the tutorial is always the same. This isn't a tutorial. I'm the tutorial. All right. You guys are you guys are being real sassy. Of how fucking pathetic you're gonna look as soon as like a jump scare happens. You guys are like fucking turn it down. Turn off jump scares. Streamer. Streamer, please. Streamer, I pissed my diaper, streamer. Like, that's what you guys are gonna be like in a minute. Alright. Alright, let's get to work. Let's get to work. Oh, yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. Alright, let's get let's get the report desk open. Unknown. I follow this girl online, who I sometimes pay for cosplay pictures of herself. Okay, she goes by Lovey Dovey Online. Real popular, real cute. Oh my god. Oh, here we go, chat. Here we go. She's also kind of mean. All right? Online, more specifically. There are thousands of chicks out there who do the same thing as her, but she comes off a bit competitive. Anyway, I think she doxed one of her competitors. I mean, there's no confession, obviously, but she shared the address and everything. Absolutely zero shame. I know people are saying that the chick who got doxed wasn't her first victim. Weird, right? But also pretty shitty. I like her a lot, but I don't think that... Th I don't like that she does this. It's not right. I doubt she's just doxing these chicks, too. The recently doxed girl was just killed. Everybody thinks it's related to the fact that her location got leaked, and I, I think it's pretty evident that Dovey's to blame for it. Not saying that she did the killing herself. I, I don't know. It's just weird. All right. So now I check my window, everything outside. Not because I'm scared, but just because I do that. All right. That's like something I do as a person. I check my, my lights every minute. Okay. So social spot. We don't know her name, but we do know that she goes by Lovey Dovey online. So, or Dovey Lovey? I don't find, Lovey Dovey. Okay. Lovey underscore Dovey. And we're going to look them up on social spot. All right, here they are. They haven't given us their name, but we have enough of their info now to pull up the rest of their stuff on the DMV. So we can get their info and identification card for the report. <laughs> Everything's real quiet. Tell me if you guys hear a car driving by, all right? That's important. I, I might miss it sometimes. Age is 21, so 20 to 25. Height is 5'2". Uh, essentially a small dwarf here. Uh, weight... 100 to 125 and female and that's enough for us to just find actually no we do need to narrow it more because we don't have her full info hair blonde eye color brown check the cameras all right <laughs> don't you hear it tomato all right who do we got here no results found hair color blonde eyes brown so she's lying. Hang on. Her hair might be dyed. So, what we can do instead... Hmm. Yeah, which one's closest to 21? Peggy Donnelly. 5'6", that's not right either. Little oh, 5'2". Ain't he's close to 5'2"? Is this... That's not you. No. I mean, the height's right. The weight's off. Uh, I might have to... I might have to... One of these might... Some of the info on this thing might even be lying. We should probably take out the weight. <laughs> if we take out the weight, we might be... We might get closer, because this is a social media, all right? It might even be a catfish situation it's possible so uh got my new sewing room started uh going to be cosplaying everyone's favorite blue-haired angel here soon check out all the work and progresses on my only admirers new subscribers get first month half off oh my god <laughs> half off Did you check it for mail that wouldn't add up with the rest of the stuff chat 
No results found on the wait. Hang on. I, what do you mean no? What, what do you mean no results? Is it too is it too broad now? Want to make it a little bit broader than before? One two hundred uh, seventy five. Am I going crazy? Twenty twenty five. Height five to five six. Weight's fine. Female. Hair color blonde. Eyes brown. Eyes hazel. It says here. Yeah, huh? Hers died. Her, I mean, her hair is definitely died. I could say that myself. <laughs> Nina Winter, no. Hair brown, eyes hazel, Justine Isakov. Basically, what we need to do now that we've narrowed it, these two are very possible. All right, either one of these, this one especially, Justine, extremely possible. That's our, that's our person. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to basically look them up on SimDB. We're gonna look up, we're gonna look up her specific information, okay, on the phone line. Let's see if we get any results. We got something. I'm breaking in. All right, pictures. Pictures of people on phones, search history, flights to Cancun, self-defense classes, check my profile views, text conversations. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That was a room. I gotta check all the doors. Lights are off in here. Okay. Man, this is a tough case. I like this. It's more difficult. Everything's fine in here. I don't see anyone at the window there. Everything's locked. Okay. Let's... All the lights are on. So let's get back to work. Okay. Is the room just ambience or an alert? The room can mean that there is a guy trying to break in my windows. Unknown number. What do you have for me? Twins. It's a first. They're both shaped like twigs, but they've got nice eyes. I'll send you pictures later. Uh, I want to see them before confirming the prices. This is nothing. This is like someone else. All right, this is not... El Capitan. I don't think this is our person. I think we're just like looking at someone's like other illegal info. That's like another crime. That's not our crime. That's the wrong case. Sorry, Justine. Nina? It's probably not you. But they could lie about lots of their info on social media. I need their actual fucking... I need to get them on like the DMV. Hang on. If I toss you in here and it pulls up her alias, then it's her. I'm going to toss them both in here. Nope. It's not either of these two people. Fucking hell. Maybe her hair isn't dyed. It fucking looks dyed as shit. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. Age. Disabled. Ugh, damn it. Fuck! Internet went out again. Internet's out. I need to go reset the router in the back room. I'm basically going to just narrow by hair color and eye color and gender is what I'm going to do when I get back. Unless I'm dead right now. I'm alive. The lights are starting to go out. This is a rough one. I like this. This is like, this is the problem with the earlier last stream was that, uh, oh. Was that, um, some of the. What the fuck? Am I crazy? No, there's no one there. There's no one there. We're fine. I thought I saw someone there. Some of the jobs were super easy. We were getting, like, repeats. I'm quite happy to fucking get some new stuff. That, that's interesting to me. Even if it means I may not even do it, and I might even lose. I, I am very happy to get some difficult jobs that make me, like, lose. Because I have not been challenged that much in this so far for, like, the job stuff. 
Aside from like get just putting in the wrong evidence. This game's stressful, man. This game is fucking stressful. All right. We only have to do two. We still have plenty of time, uh, but we do need to start narrowing this down. So I'm gonna just take out all the variables for this person. Down just female, blonde, and hazel. Okay. Audrey? Oh, okay. So what was her difference? Uh, age was five uh, off. Everything else was accurate. I don't know why that didn't pop up before. Okay, that's why sometimes you have to like use weird stuff to get the DMV stuff to pop up. Okay, Audrey. It was Audrey, right? It wasn't the other person? It's Audrey. Okay. There we go. Lovey Dovey is the alias. Just do. I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm operating on a difficulty from the first time I played this. All right. I don't know how much this guy has been nerfed, but I am checking this like every ten seconds because in the first time I played it, I had to because this guy could suddenly show up so quickly and be running at me so fast that like I didn't have a choice. Uh, but to do that, hang on. Uh, fuck off, bud. I don't want your ten cents for this. Uh, fuck off for twenty four hours. Thanks. Uh, all right. Moving up. Thanks for the pennies, though, I guess. Fucking idiot. All right, let's move on. We're going to search this person on the phone line again. Now that we have their actual name. Audrey Grondin. This is only one evidence. We just need to catch her basically doxing the person. So we can also look them up. If we catch them actually doxing them on their social spy, we can also do that. If they have, like, a second account they do not okay so they just have the alias all right rootkit i always check before plugging this in because i'm paranoid as shit let's get in here let's see what this lady's let's see what she's on all right all right audrey search history self-defense classes near me how to prevent doxing what is doxing pictures Okay, this doesn't seem like much of anything. Sorry, I was just standing up to see if I was about to instantly die. Because that's sort of like the only way you can tell if you're going to die is when you stand up and get jump scared. Uh, Alright, there's nothing weird there. Text combos, Mac. My godforsaken camera finally died F. It's a miracle it lasted this long. So you're getting a new one soon? Uh, priority mail, all raking in cash. Uh, your legion of simps can afford to wait a week. True, true. I haven't broken the news yet, but keep me in your prayers. She's more of a control freak than you are. Your cosplayers are batshit, every single one. Anyway, did you see that Felicity got doxxed? Actually insane. Don't think the hacker has left a single detail out. Yeah, actually scary stuff. What's she going to do? Don't know. Doesn't seem like she did anything. It seems like this is just something completely uninvolved. Was that a vroom? I didn't hear a vroom that was loud enough to make me think that I'm getting vroomed. I'm gonna check all the lights quick. I heard like a, but I don't think it was like loud enough to be like a one gonna, like that's gonna kill me. Just checking all the lights. Who's Zorro? Do you know who little Pam is? Good morning to you too. Yeah, I do. It's already PM. LMAO, you've heard about the leak, right? Know anything about it? Nope. Been quiet on my end, sucks. To be her, I guess. You promised you'd look into this stuff. Relax, it's being taken care of. Uh, what does that mean? Wait, you know who's been doing this? How long have you known? Technically just found out. Some guys on the forum who want to troll some chicks. Okay, this is nothing. I'm going to put this in as technically evidence that she didn't do it. And I'm going to shred this because she didn't do anything. Okay, this is, a, this is a nothing report. So that gets shredded. That person didn't break any laws. And that'll back that up if I don't get a thumbs down. We didn't. So, yeah, that's this is this is nothing. All right, Edwin Thompson. It's fucking Edwin again, man. Same old shit. He has a habit of taking way too many drinks at my bar, does some dumb shit like starts a bar fight, gets kicked out, somehow crawls back in like a cockroach that won't die and raises a storm when the bartender says she's cutting his ass off. Fucking Edwin. Again, bro. 
Last night, he was a whole other monster man, comes in around eight, down some Tim Dean like his life depends on it, pukes half it out on some poor guy who's having a rough night, starts yet another fight with another one, and somehow gets got shanked in the mess. I hear he's doing fine, but hey, he started it. Do me a favor and toss him in a cell for a week or two, yeah? How the fuck am I supposed to use his social media presence to, like, get him on this dude? I sort of do, like, virtual crimes, bud. Edwin Thompson. He does not have a social media. Why am I not surprised? Uh, credit DB. Let's see how much alcohol he buys. Oh. Whiskey. Whiskey. The evidence will be that he drinks whiskey if I need to. <laughs> that's... That's technically evidence. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. All right. Sim DB. Let's log in it. I'm hearing vrooms. Okay, Edwin. Hello? Okay, everything's cool. Search history. Grief counseling. What to do when a loved one passes. Bar near me. How to get over your loss. Yeah, I get the weird feeling this guy didn't actually do a crime. And this is just another sad thing. Well, I need to get him up on... I need to get his DMV thing up first to prove that I, like, did the research. Uh, he doesn't have a social media. But if I just search Edwin Thompson on mail, technically I'll find him as long as I narrow down another part. His ha his eyes are brown. His hair is brown. We'll get him from here. Edwin, 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 Edwin Thompson. Alright, Edwin. And uh, Penelope, wife. Hi, honey. Remind me of what you want at the store again. Uh, honey, where are you? It's getting late. Penelope. Yeah, it's his wife. I'm just going to leave this here. Okay, I'm gonna put this in as evidence, and this is another shred. Uh, there's no crime there. That's like something you call the cops for, like, at the moment it's happening, bud. Like, I'm not gonna- What do you to do? Like, arrest him now? Amelie Linter. My ex-wife is refusing to respect the terms of my restraining order. Oh, fuck, it's this thing again. Shit. Fuck. This is- this, this wife is, like, stalking her husband, and, like, sends a fucking picture of him in his car to him on like texts. I'm not gonna explain this whole one because I failed this one every time. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm just gonna try to like, I think I did it right last time. If someone tells me what I did, you're allowed to tell me what I did last time if I got it right, because I don't fucking remember. All I remember is that like last time I got it wrong. Well, one of the times I got it wrong. I don't remember if I got it right the second time. Female, brown, brown, Amelie, where are you? There you are. Okay. Or long ass texts. Ah, yeah, it was the texts. Okay. I think I'm about to be. I think I'm already dead, chat. I think if I stand up right now, I'm dead. I don't have time. I got. I gotta finish the root kit first. Oh, you don't get like fucked out of it if you mess it up. That's good to know. My dad. I am dead. I knew it. I fucking hate this guy. Ugh. Fuck. That's why I check it every 10 seconds, chat. Because I missed him in one 10 second interval. So he ran in and silently killed me. Yep. Yep. If you miss him, he instantly kills you. You just have to be checking your cameras like all the time. All the time. Usually I get him. Sometimes he slips right through. Sometimes that guy, he slips right on through, Chad. Back in. That is so bullshit. I mean, apparently they nerfed him. That's the second time he's ever gotten me, though. Usually I don't struggle with him. Usually he... Usually I see him, but it's just sort of like a coin flip. Imagine playing this on normal mode, chat, where it's permadeath and he's even more aggressive. In this one, at least if I make it to day two, I start at day two. I don't get sent all the way back to the beginning. On uh, normal mode, I get sent all the way back to day one every time. So, uh, yeah, people that say that casual sucks or is stupid, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 
At least on this one I can read what's happening. Alright. Maybe we leave a window open. We can breathe better. You know? Besides, who's gonna break into this window to get me? You know? Alright. Yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. Amelie. <laughs> That'd be a nice addition if you lose the next job. The first job the next day is the one that you already did. So you can just do it right away. Email. Amelie Linter. Alright, Amelie. We're gonna just pull open her cell phone and get that thing done real quick. No one should break in this early. It's been like two minutes into like the night. Alright. Text conversations. Uh, where is the guy? Hang on. Hang on. It escaped. It's gone. Where is this guy? It's Farrah. I remember now. It's this guy. All right, that should be it. We just have to send uh, them a. Is, we just have to put like her text. Uh, her text with the guy in. There we go. Okay, now I have to start checking my security cameras before I fucking get killed. All right, we're good. Roy McNulty. Oh, this is Roy the Psycho. All right, chat. I'm just gonna summarize ones that I've already done so that we can get on to like new ones that I haven't done faster. If you're really curious about like the ones that, I've, that I'm going through now quickly, uh, you can just uh, go to the last VOD because I, I did them slowly there. But this guy essentially, this man here runs a annual scarathon, a nice neighborhood horror movie night with, um, with his, his neighbors, all right? He does like, he does a whole thing. He like sets it up, gets like really fucking scary props and everything and like makes a real night out of it. Everyone loves it, everyone loves it. But uh, then one of the neighbors started noticing some of the pictures that he uses for his uh, decorations are extremely realistic. Extremely realistic, all right? Extremely realistic. That's all I'm gonna cover for a minute while I pull up Roy on the, on the thing. Hair, gray eyes, blue. I don't actually think I ever legally finished this job. But that's Roy McNulty. There he is. Look him up on SimDB. You already in my, you already in my house? No, we're good. I was probably up off of my desk when you came in last time. I'm just gonna pull open Roy McNulty's information. All right. And uh, here we have a search history. All normal, all good stuff. And we have some pictures here of uh, like spooky monsters. Uh, that's a spooky monster. Here's a picture of some guy uh, beating the ever loving shit out of someone running. That's not really illegal. You know, that's not really illegal. There's nothing weird there. They may have, like, texts from Grady. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Eventually, you get to pack your bags. We're going to the hotel to pick this little miss up. And then when you get a little bit lower, you get to uh, parts where you're complaining about him caving people's skulls in uh, too quickly so he can't get good pictures for his, uh, for his spooky scenes. And that's where he sort of... That's where he sort of plays himself. So we're just going to send, uh, we're just going to use that evidence that he's admitting to, uh, not wanting his friend Grady to cave in people's skulls so quickly because he can't get good pictures if the skull is too unrecognizable. Jackson Little. I saw Jackson sitting inside a car with a strange man for half an hour or so outside of his house. The odd man had a big bushy beard and a giant neck tattoo. After their meeting was over, the man sent Jackson behind, inside and drove off. and drove off. After maybe two hours, a strange man returned to his neighborhood, into the neighborhood with two other individuals in, little, in a dark blue sedan without plates. They were all wearing dark colored hoodies and gloves. I recognized it was the same guy from before with the, by the neck tattoo. I went upstairs to grab my cell phone and call the police. And when I checked back outside, the car was gone. Weird. Um, I'm not entirely sure what you want me to do so far, but 
Hey, I'll look him up. Jackson Little. What, you want me to, like, get them in trouble for having tattoos and beards and, like, walking out with weird clothes on? Like an unmarked car? I guess that's weird. I guess the unmarked car is a thing, technically. Jackson, hair color, brown. We have enough to find him, since we have his full name. These DMV things are only rough if you don't have a full name. Ugh, damn it. Internet went out again. Shit, that's not good. We go reset the router in the back room closet. I'm about to get psycho murdered. Here we go. Lights are off in here. Come on, chat. Let's just go get this router back on before a psycho murderer, like, breaks into my house. Like, because he can just scamper up while I'm doing this because my character can't run. I've got bad knees. I got really bad knees, chat. I got bad knees. Man. Okay. I'm dead. Lights are all on. We're good. These light bulbs suck. Yeah. I mean, he's in the house already. He's going to kill me. Jackson. Little. There you are. You look like a weenie, Jackson. You got social media presence, boy? Like and retweet with a, for a chance to win 10k. I'm going through and selecting people at random. Make sure you have DMs open. Think about making a mobile game after seeing the garbage my little cousins put up with on their devices. Nice, nice, nice. This kid's got eight ads in two minutes. Easy money, chat. Easy money. None of that's anything. None of that's anything. You already got his ID. So next is uh, credit DB and SIM. Uh, he's already in the house. He's gonna kill me. I'm alive. I hate the fucking murderer because there's no hints. There's no heads up for him. All right, this guy bought something at Mondo Mart. Chicken and food. Higgs Corner Store. Uh, prepaid smartphone. Yeah, that's not as good. That's not as ideal. Okay. Rootkit. Let's go. Quickly before a murderer comes and gets me. <laughs> Search history. How to wipe a cell phone's memory. Blah, 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 blah. Will drilling holes in a hard drive prevent someone from using it? How to encrypt files? How to tell if you're gay? How to kidnap someone? Is being forced to kidnap someone a crime? That's not good. All right. I would say yes, sir. Alec. Hey, buddy, you still working on that project? I thought you would have hooked me up by now. I'm working on it. Most of my friends are away on vacation. You know, living uh, the I got, you know, living the I got you money, I got fuck you money lifestyle. Hardly anyone stays around here in the summer. I got fuck you money? What does that fucking mean? I guess that means you need a little hard. You need to work a little harder, but unless you want me to share what I found on your computer to your parents, I hear your dad used to beat the shit out of gays when he was our age. Quit fucking around. It ain't funny. I will text you someone who I think would work later. Nah. First, you're gonna do me a favor. I need you to pick up one of those prepaid phones and text me the new number. I add you to my contacts as Jackson Diddle. All right. Pretty good nickname. For you, if you ask me, given the weird gay shit you're into. I don't know, chat. This is entering... Here's the thing with this game, all right? Technically... Okay. Technically, there's a crime that was committed here. All right. But unless I catch that he actually kidnapped someone physically in his phone in the next couple texts, I can't... Like, I can't report the blackmail. Okay, I can't help this guy out of his deal okay i can't do that because i don't have like that's not how the game works so i i can only get this guy in trouble with how this game works look up the blackmailer's phone it doesn't work like that uh ashley okay this is that ashley person i'm guessing ah hey hey Get on out of here, you son of a bitch! Breaker. Oh my god! I need to flip the breaker in the file room closet. I hope he fucked off. <laughs> you better have left. Man, 
That was really bad timing. Chat. That was extremely bad timing. I think I'm dead. Dead? I'm alive. I think I technically... He turned around. I technically got him. Uh, Bilbo T. Baggins. Hey, homie. What are you doing this weekend? Go suck a cock, fuck face. Don't text me again. Hey, Alec. I tried activating the phone. It wouldn't let me text anyone. How fucking dense are you? I told you to get the phone so we could talk anonymously. Please explain how that is even remotely possible when you text me on the same phone and say my name. Listen, tonight I'm, I I'm coming by later uh, tonight to talk face to face. Hope you have everything ready. Sam. Oh my god, who texts their friends at 6 a.m.? I've only been asleep for two hours. Hey! Hey! That's that fucking stupid one. I don't think he's really here. I, I think that's just like the, the weird jump scare. I don't even think he's actually at the house. I don't think that. He's just like likes jumping in front of the fucking camera sometimes, dude. That doesn't even mean he's here. I've never been killed off of him doing that. Yo, so as much as I'd love to see what you look like blazed out of your skull, I'm chilling on the beach side. There's nothing here. Chat, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's the blackmail thing. But I don't see any of the kidnapping thing. I, I technically can't. I don't have any proof of the kidnapping thing. So I'm going to do the Alec thing and say that this needs to be shredded. Okay, that technically was wrong, but I don't think I'm allowed to arrest people based off of shit that they're technically not related to. Because I didn't see... What if you follow the guy's alias? Chat! That's not an alias. That is their... Okay, let me get some stuff out of the way, because you guys don't understand how the game works, okay? Let me let me go down the line here for you, okay? Because there are a couple stupid messages that I'm seeing that don't make any sense and don't work in the game. One, Jackson Diddle is not an alias that they made a social media account for. That is a contact on a phone. That is nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing information. I can't do anything with that, okay? I can't do anything with that. Two, I can't get someone else's phone off of a phone. So if someone messages someone else on their phone, I can't grab that guy's fucking information from the phone and cross check that. There's no info for that. And there's no method in the game to do that. Okay? So those two options, never again recommend those. They don't work. They're nothing. Please. Good shit, Breaker. Good shit. I'm really a big fan of how this fucking electricity thing's been going today. This is a lot more, this is a lot better than usual. Breaker's doing a lot of crazy shit lately. It's really cool how the Breaker keeps doing that. Okay. What's next? Liam Wright. Uh, I am Mr. Ben Germain's manager. Business at the art gallery was booming last month, but after we nearly sold our entire lot, word came out that, from our supplier that some of the paintings were virtually worthless fakes. Plagiarism. Scandalous scams. I don't know how that information could have leaked to the public. Ben, our only supplier, and myself were aware of the situation. The recent couple days have been held with clients calling nonstop, demanding refunds, claiming legal action against us, saying that what we did was fraud. Well, what you did was fraud, you just admitted to it. If that wasn't enough, it appears that the leak is being used as a distraction. Last night, Ben's daughter, Rebecca, was kidnapped on her way home from school. The first conclusion that anyone would draw is that it has something to do with the recent news about the fake paintings. I see. Going off the suspicion, the client with the most to lose is Liam Wright. We've already gone through all the proper channels to report this crime, but we want to extend our reach to this system as well. Okay, I mean, I hope you guys are also going to jail for making, like, selling fraud paintings. Uh, I'm not even sure how you get away with that. Like, what, do you have, like, fucking, like, old fucking paintings? Wouldn't, that, wouldn't people know? Like, most of that stuff's in museums. Or, like, well-documented. Oh, my internet's out. <laughs> That's very good. Very good. Let's get, let's get on back to my router now. Very slowly. Fucking internet. Shit. Piece of crap. 
this run has been just getting barraged by like interruptions. Technically, though, chat, uh, we can afford one uh, failed case on our quota. Usually, I end up doing better the later we get in because I'm still getting into the loop of thing. For all I know, there's something I quite literally missed on that last guy, but I'm still getting used to like, you know, checking for everything and all that shit. All right, Liam, you should be in this list. Liam right. Okay. Credit DB. Liam right. Check for psychos. Nothing there. I fucking searched again. City lockup. Climate controlled brute ropes. You see, chat, you hate to see uh, whenever someone buys something. And you don't want to ever, honestly, chat, one of the one things you don't want to ever do, all right, is be caught publicly buying brute ropes. Okay. Uh, strong torch and an outdoor plastic chair. Okay, that could be it. Okay. Uh, he's definitely not going to post today in this on social media. So we're going to go ahead and sim search this. Do one more check before I start the rootkit. Everything's clear, which means he's probably already in the house. Already in the house. He's in the house. I'm alive. He's not in the house. Okay. When do police declare a person missing? Lawsuit regarding counterfeit goods, best secure VPNs, offshore bank accounts. Man, imagine looking up VPNs and then choosing to not use the VPN while like doing anything. <laughs> Pictures. Text conversations, driver. Let's meet in person, sure. Now that I've set up, now now that it's set up, we have minimal contact. Okay. Uh, sorry, can't get get there tomorrow. I'll buy it in June. Have you got the package? We got it. I'll bring it to the house. We can't make the lockup, Joel. We got the package set up for twenty five. Bump it up to thirty. We have some. We need some breathing room. He says he needs more time. Tell me he's got forty eight hours. I mean. There's a totally stuff here. He definitely did it. But none of those texts are very damning. Okay, this is actually pretty damning. Okay, that text is pretty damning. I think it's the text with the driver. I, I can only do one evidence. We only have one evidence slot. I think it's the driver. <laughs> hey, hey! Okay, the, the, the impact of that jump scare goes down every time it happens, chat, so don't worry. You're, you're, it's going to start dropping. Every time that happens, you're going to get less and less spooked until it's meaningless. And it's just like a silly little like de like surprise that happens every once in a while. Because it's already getting there for me. Okay, I promise. Eventually, it won't even phase you anymore. I'm going to do the driver. If this doesn't work, I'm going to fucking scream because I think this is it. Because I do not think it's the search history. And I definitely don't think it's the credit card stuff. I just don't think it is. I don't think it's a credit card. And there's pri there's definitely nothing on social media for this one. And Liam wouldn't have anything in his police records. You know, in hindsight, that might have been the case for the other guy, though. The kid. Okay, I'm gonna send it with this one. Hopefully that's it. Bingo. All right. Oh, excellent. I forgot about a weird fucking uh, technicality in this game chat. And it's that if the lights are off in any of your rooms when the day ends, you get killed 50% uh, of the time by that guy. I forgot that. That's good. I needed to check the lights before I went to sleep because if the lights are off, you can sometimes just be RNG killed. I gotta crack a cold one here. I'm gonna need that. Fuck you! I don't sleep with the lights off. I right, chat, remember that. Remember that. The electricity bill must be insane. Well, I mean, we're burning out our fucking breaker every time, every I night, multiple times. And get the night started. It's fine. 
We're only getting, chat, we're only getting faster. Remember, we died a couple of times at the beginning of the last stream, and then all of a sudden we were doing incredibly well and never died again. So, like, we're pretty much destined to win, like, super quickly this time. The detective mechanics are pretty cool. I mean, that's why eventually, chat, I may even do the detective mode just so I could, like, actually check that stuff out. Because, like, even now I have to skim. I'd love to be able to read the stuff, like, properly. But even on, like, casual mode, I have to skim pretty quickly. Did I get all the uh, windows in the rest of the room? I think I did. I got them. Oh. I'm pretty sure you can put multiple stuff in the evidence box. Uh, you can if it calls for multiple evidence. Unless you mean like, yeah. I don't think I can put an I extra over uh, the cap. Like there's a cap. Liam Wright. Okay, Liam. So it, yeah, it looks like how this does this now, which I'm super down for. This is actually a good thing. Uh, looks like if you die, the next case is always the one that you just lost. So it gives you a little freebie. Didn't check the cabinet room. I'm gonna take you out, Darkling, if it's if my cabinets are a-okay. I swear to God. I'm gonna take you out. I swear to God. Wow, it's a-okay. Oh, this is cabinet room. You're good. I don't know why I thought it was the other room. No, you're good. You're not, I, I'm not taking you out anywhere but a nice dinner. Darkling, where would you like to go? Okay, Liam. Uh, let's look you up again. Gender, male, age, 40 to 45. Hair color, black. Eye color, brown. Liam? Right. And then, rootkit. And simdb. And we already got the solution, technically. It's just that we died seconds after getting it. So we didn't really get credit. But this is, uh, is going to be a piece of cake this time. Got it. And text conversations. Driver. Yeah, you see, you can't do more. You can only do as much as uh, it gives you. Okay, that's one. If you see the dial-up sound, that means you did it. All right, next... Russell Hanchin. I woke up early and decided I needed some fresh air since I forgot my, to get the mail yesterday. Uh, it was when I went to my mailbox that I saw him. I saw someone prying open one of the maintenance hole covers in the middle of the street. He proceeded to climb down it with a flashlight. He had a backpack on. I waited for a bit but never saw him come out. He seemed like someone from my climbing gym. But I'm not quite sure what he's doing down there. Uh, urban climbing, motherfucker. I don't know if you've heard of it, but there's this new thing going around called sewer diving. Where uh, climbers, professional free climbers... Uh, they um, climb into sewage lines and try to climb into people's toilets. Uh, it's like a it's like a fucking like adrenaline rush kind of game where you can like you know sometimes you can climb right out of the toilet and like surprise people if you do it right. You know you know you know. Ah. Uh. Okay, Russell. Male, brown hair, eyes unknown, age unknown. This is easy, because we have his name, so who really cares? If so, I, God chat, if someone could confirm to me if they've played this game, what the jump scare button, because if I could just get a jump scare button that turns off the camera one that we've seen twice now, that one where he just jumps in front of the camera and nothing happens, it's just a jump scare. I wish I could turn off just that one. Because that one's so annoying. <laughs> Russell. Oh, this guy looks like he does urban diving. Easily. This guy's an urban diver. Here we go. Alright, we got we got him. We got him right here. So, yes, police. This is the guy. I got some cameras and first aid kits. I think everything, I, I think that's about everything. Some of the other guys are helping out with the obstacles and routing of the course. This is actually gonna happen. <laughs> we're doing the, we're doing the sewer dive tonight, gang. All right, fam, here we go. World's first ever sewer dive, here we go. 
Here we go, sewer diving. We're going splunking, but there's no caves nearby. We're gonna dive in the fucking sewers, man. We're gonna look for shit in the sewers. There's no, there's no caves to splunk in. We're gonna use the urban environment. Man. Okay. I see, it doesn't even scare me anymore. Like, <laughs> I'm reaching the point where, like, like I said, you sort of become desensitized to that jump scare because you just feel like it's gonna come every 10 seconds. And so it doesn't, like, get you anymore. Like I said. Circuitry. Indoor-outdoor wireless security system. Wait, what the fuck? Haha, <laughs> 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 he did it twice. I'm gonna sneak outside of his house. I'm gonna keep jumping in front of his cameras until he fucking opens the door. Or make him let me in. Wanna just come in? Wait, I just saw J <laughs> You are caught, motherfucker. Don't tell Dave! Gmar, I'll have to ban you if you tell Dave anything. You understand me? I'll have to take you out. Someone- this guy bought a lot of security equipment. Dave will cry. Okay, what is this guy searching? Uh, places around town to parkour, good sewer systems, underground sewers, setting up night vision cameras, how to increase my hand strength, uh, punk rock playlist, what kind of chalk should I use while climbing? This guy's just doing climbing. Text conversations, Austin, when's it happening? Soon, I have to check something under the streets of my town. I'm so pumped, underground climbing, parkour, wicked idea, Russ. This guy didn't break any laws, this is nothing. He's just fucking climbing underground in sewers, which should be illegal, but I can't arrest him for it. Shred it. Chitching. I didn't even need to read the rest. That's a waste of time to read the rest. There's nothing. If I was on detective mode, I would have read the rest. Okay, I would have gotten into the depths of that sewer RP, but like I've said a thousand times, we don't have the luxury. We don't have the time to do that kind of thing, okay? We don't have that kind of time. Sewer RP stream when? Chat, there isn't, all, there's all, actually, you know what? No, I would do a sewer RP stream, but it would be the worst stream I ever did. And I don't think I'd get service. <laughs> I would quite literally have to haul an ethernet cord all the way down there, like with me as I go. Like an enormous ethernet cord. And that's like my way to get back out of the sewers. Also, I would die. I'd get a disease while I'm down there. I definitely wouldn't last another week after. Okay. No one outside. I'm gonna check my light. I know I'm gonna do a little more reports. Uh, Larry Jackson. My friends and I are terrified of this guy called Larry Jackson. Uh, he's tall and skinny. Okay. He's tall and skinny and likes to try and scare us by- Damn it. Internet went out again. Tries to scare us by grabbing us when we go near him. Last night my friends and I were playing and he came over with a bag of chips. He asked my best friend Dylan if he wanted some. But when Dilly- Pulled out what looked like a knife from the bag. Everybody ran, and Dylan hit his knee hard on the ground. I'm gonna fucking trick these guys with a silly joke, dude. I'm gonna put a knife in the bag. It's gonna really spook these zoomers, bro. I'm gonna really get them. Knife in the bag. Hang on, I'm gonna check my security. Okay. Let's go get the- Ah, yeah, he's already in the house. I fucking hate this guy. I hate this guy. It's like- Ah, that's- that's statistic for me there. It's like, there is no- Can someone, like, fucking tell me if there is any audio fucking cue for that fucker? Cause, like... Cause I ain't seeing it. I ain't seeing the fucking audio cue. There's nothing. There is just, oh, I hope you check the cameras. The Russian has no cue. The Russian has a vroom. He vrooms. Tomato, you did the voice, dude. Look, Dave, here's the thing. All right, here's the thing. I should get to my computer and get the night started. 
here's the thing. What happens in the Discord realm and what happens on my stream, it's like two separate cannons, all right? It's two separate cannons. And I'm in a, I'm in a, a dark place on this game right now. And I need something to back me up. I need something, okay? I forgot all the fucking like, light, like windows because of this shit. God. There's no audio cue. You can sometimes see the Russian guy on that camera. You just have to check like a maniac. Yeah, I mean like, at that point, I mean how it works already with the Russian guy is that he only, I think, breaks into windows where, there are, where the lights, I am fucking totally bungling this. I've like bungled the time on this one so bad I should, I, I don't even, I gotta like restart. I have to reset. I have to literally reset because I, I got so distracted by Dave that I had to like fucking like, I forgot what windows I was, I, I was doing. I just ran like a double loop and lost all my time. I can't believe how much, I thought they nerfed things in this game, but somehow I'm having more trouble this time than last time. I think it's just bad luck. Cause I've been, I've been checking the fucking camera every 10 or so seconds. The only time that guy could have gotten in was when I went for the router. Right? I think I that's the, I think that's when he must have gotten to me. Was when I went to fix like the router. Lights? I don't think the serial killer works with lights. It's just the other guy. Or is it just both? Just everyone? Everyone hates the lights? I mean, the lights were off in my room. The lights had turned off in the, uh, in the kitchen. I don't think you can spawn normally when you're not on the computer. Huh. Well, I guess I'll be more careful with lights then and do like a lap every once in a while. I, I can do it. I'll do, I'll pull it off, Chip. don't you? Oh, yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bones. Beverly Oliveras. She just came out of nowhere wearing these gross, disgusting clothes. She stank to high heaven. This girl was waving a razor blade in people's face in front of the courthouse like a maniac. I kept my distance, so I admit I, I didn't get the best look at her. After a few minutes, she ran off. I wasn't about to go chase her down. She was screaming all sorts of weird stuff, but I know she yelled something like, I am Be Beverly Olive or something. I don't know. She was talking like a crazy person. I've never seen her before. I see. Okay. Uh, Beverly Olive. <laughs> Female. Hair red. This should be super narrow because red hair. There we go. All right. She looks like a psychomaniac. Let's see if she's into drugs. Yo. 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 See Money Gaming, one, two, three. You've gifted 20 subs in the last fucking five minutes. Thanks. See Money Gaming? Thanks. Very much. That's real kind of you. I'd crack open another fucking cold one if I had another cold one. I don't, though. I don't. So you'll have to live with this. The one that, the one that I have that's just normal. Okay, Beverly does not have a social media. Am I dead? I think like every hour I need to just check the lights again. Okay, uh, Beverly, you buy any like drugs lately? ATM, cash withdrawal, gasoline, pen, notebook, Pesco, printer paper, that's nothing. Uh, all right, it's gonna be SimDB or nothing at all. Or also her police records, maybe. She might have something on the police records. Nope, no police record. Quickly now. Search history. Drug Lord case studies. Legal library portal. Uh, civil law and drug trafficking. Uh, cafe near me. Maps. Uh, most of the time you never get, I've been framed. I know you're reading this, please, you have to believe me, I've been framed. I know my phone will be seized and searched as evidence. I was threatened by a drug lord. Guido Fosti checked my text messages. A private number contacted me and threatened me. Please, dear God, let them check my phone history. I didn't do this, it wasn't me, I've been framed. Right. Looks like she got pictures of her going to jail, uh, in her phone. 
It looks like those are actually pictures of her while she was getting her, um, uh, while she was being convicted. Uh, and uh, she took a picture of the judge as he received the, uh, the notice from the jury. <laughs> In real time. Dex combos. Dad, what's going on, Beverly? Your mother is freaking out. Dad, someone's trying to frame me. It isn't me on the news. I have proof. I'm one town over. Uh, Julio. Bev, where are you right now? You're on local news. Did you attack someone with a razor blade? What? No, I've been in a client's house all day. Private number. I know, you know, I know someone who looks just like you, Beverly. Just a haircut away. Almost being identical. Just letting you know in the case, in case you decide to show yourself in court tomorrow. I mean, I don't know who you are, but you're not going to stop me. Uh, don't say you were never warned. You'd do well to take this seriously. I think I private number this. And All right, chat. Since last time I got in trouble for not filing this, even though they weren't technically the crimer here, okay? I think I'm going to file it as if they did a crime, okay? I'm going to file it and hope that that means this person will be labeled as, oh, yeah, something happened and they were framed. I'm going to file it because the alternative is that I shred it and I get in trouble anyways because this shit sometimes just makes no sense. All the lights are on. Back to work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this one in as a file and just see what happens. Okay. Wait a minute, was that the only evidence I could use? Yes. No, that just isn't it. I fucking, yo. This stuff needs to be explained better. Uh, this shit, cause I, I'm getting a little bit annoyed by the fact that like, I can't fucking do anything to like, it, it's so obvious that like a crime has happened and in the real world, if you filed that stuff, it would be filing as in, hey, so this person, I went through all their information and they're definitely being framed, but that doesn't, this game is very like black and white, you know, it's very black and white. It's because she didn't do a crime. The other guy did kidnap someone. <laughs> I hit a fucking stupid. All right, we got a male. I don't know his name, so this is going to be a fucking really annoying one. All right, but technically this goes into my quota if I'm not instantly killed by a murderer in my own house in the next 10 seconds. So put the other guy's name in. All right, knock that guy down and, like, Wrap, like tie him up with rope uh put him in the barrel next to you chat all right you guys follow me so far put him in the barrel okay put the top on the barrel okay uh push him into the river okay is he drifting down the river now in the barrel okay good you guys remember to poke a hole at the top so we could breathe right 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 no all right, who's our best shot then? Who's our best shot then? Which one of you was our best shot? All right, all right, take this. Take this, Mosin. All right, take this, Mosin, I have. I'm gonna need you to blast a hole at the top so they can breathe with this gun, okay? Alright. They're fine. They, the shot was perfect, chat. The shot was a perfect shot. And the barrels flipped over, and it sunk under the water. And now they're dead. And that's a lesson to you, now ghost person. I can't look up things that aren't the specific person that I am investigating. The game does not work like that. The game has never worked like that. It just doesn't. Shut your mouth. Now we got that out of the way. Solve some crimes. Gray. Gray. Age. 50 to 60. Weight. Height six feet tall. Weight 145. There's a murderer in the house. I already know he's in the house. I know he's in the fucking house. I gotta check the lights. 
I'm dead. I'm alive. I'm gonna check the lights. So chat, can, someone said it, but I want, I sort of want like a, a backup. Okay, well, I want like a back, another person to back up this claim because it sort of like changes things for me. Can the serial killer come into the house if I'm not at the computer? Because someone said that he doesn't approach the house if I'm not at the computer. Yes. Okay, so that person was a deceiver. The person who said that. It's probably already in the house. All right, grab another barrel. Serial killer or kidnapper? Serial killer. A kidnapper I haven't fucking seen in a billion years. Okay, this is sucks because this is another one that was like, the info was wrong things. I didn't even read this thing. I saw a couple joggers I've never seen in this area before buy from an ice cream truck that frequents in this area. They chatted with the driver for a minute and got some cups of ice cream, but it also looked like the driver slipped them both a small piece of paper, or so it looked like. The two joggers both went in opposite directions on the sidewalk. Drug ice cream. I've seen this before. I found this a little odd. I've never bought anything from the driver. He always smiles and waves at me as he drives, however. Uh, I've never seen him do that before, let alone two people jogging that to then just split up after buying ice cream. Ugh, damn it. Internet went out again. Hey, need to go hey guy He's who's reporting this, did you think for a second they were both jogging together and opted to stop at the ice cream place to wrap up their jog before, I don't know, going home, bud? That could be a thing, too. Paper could be a receipt. Fucking idiot. Or I'm gonna guess he's a drug dealer, because this that's just how it goes. Man, this... I was so slow. I, I can't fucking imagine beating this game. Chat, imagine this game on Nightmare. You can't. I, ge I genuinely... You know what? Hang on. I want to check it quick. I'm going to just check something. Okay? I want to do a quick check of this thing. I'm popping open the, open the global achievement stats for this game. Uh, zero point... Like, one person has beaten this game on Nightmare. <laughs> one person has beaten this game on Nightmare. Uh, 0.3% of players have beaten this game on Normal. Good. That's good. That's good. How many people have beaten it on casual? Where's the casual one? Oh, 1.1% of them have beaten it on casual. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm gathering is that it's going to be a lot of RNG if you win any of them by the end. At least casually you can get closer to the end without losing, you know? That's a thing. I might get closer. Only 1.1% of people have beaten the game with jump scares on. Chat, honestly, if we're chasing... Yo, chat? I don't want to say this is what I'm, I'm, I'm going to do, but I'm just going to say... Yo, uh, if we're chasing those rare achievements, I personally get rarer achievements by beating the game with jump scares off. Only 0.4% of players have beaten the game with jump scares turned off. Think about it. Please, God. Okay, whoever... I'm gonna fucking, like, fucking kill whoever wrote this... This goddamn, like... Whoever submitted this thing, because this is ridiculous. Wait. It's all wrong! I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a murder. The murder is already in the house. Brandon Williams. Is it you? Are you the ice cream guy? Brandon? Surely it must be you, because no one else even pops up. This was a very vague, this was a very wide net I threw. All right, Brandon Williams. Let's see what you got. Ha, officer on duty caught Brandon doing 90 on the freeway. I went pulled over, Brandon looked visually frustrated and kept on saying he was in a hurry. Okay, he got a ticket. And a $50 fine. Uh, alright. Debit, do you buy ice cream? Are you actually an ice cream driver? Uh, cathartic cuts. Haircut and shave. 
Uh, walking shoes. Breakfast sausages. Well, that's actually ice cream stuff. Hang on. Uh, I guess we'll do the sim DB. I gotta check the lights in my house. I'm gonna die. I, I don't think this light thing is a very good thing. I think this is like actually gonna be bad for my character, like doing this every time. That's not a car, that's a plane. That's a different kind of room. That's, that's not a car. Don't worry, Chad, I got this. You an ice cream man? Uh-oh. He, he's an ice cream guy, so obviously he likes cold things. It's just guys, there's just people that are very extremely cold. Okay, there's nothing. Search history, ice cream, hidden compartment, hiring new ice cream truck drivers, uh, exotic ice cream flavors. How cold do you need an ice box to be to keep meat from thawing? Okay, hang on a second. Hang on one minute. <laughs> hang on a second, hang on. There's some text conversations from Jeff. New ice cream flavor is black li licorice ice cream with hot fudge. Got it. And remember, I don't want to be giving you the name of the new flavor. I know. Good. Hello, Kyle. I want to congratulate you again on being accepted to the position. Uh, we need more drivers like you. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks. I'm ecstatic. Uh, yes, yeah, certainly. You'll get your schedule within a few days. Uh, there will be someone waiting at the drop-off points. Uh, most days, you'll drive the route selling ice cream. Be friendly and put all... Put a smile on for all customers. Transport meat to certain drop-off points. Uh, thaws. It will then be chopped for medical applications. Okay, no chat. Ch wrong name. You got the wrong person. Shut up, ch chat. You fucking, you complete fucking moron. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> this guy's talking about ice cream trucks and hiring drivers for ice cream trucks with meat in them. His search history involved ice cream. Yeah, I got the wrong guy. You got another guy uh, likes ice cream. Yeah, another guy. There's like more than one person that probably likes cannibal ice cream. You fucking tomato. You're so stupid. Put him in a barrel. Get another barrel. We're gonna clog the fucking river with these barrels of people, chat. I'm gonna be dead when I get out of this anyways. Medical applications. Part of, part within the meat is sold to buyers to thaw out. If the initial produce is uh, sold to clientele, we'll ask you a secret menu or password. Okay. All right, this is extremely damning. I think we got enough stuff here. This guy's selling cannibal ice cream, chat. I don't have time to read all this, because I know better. Maybe once I've gotten journalist mode completed, <laughs> we can uh, we can do detective mode to actually read some of these properly, okay? Because I'd love to, but uh, I don't have that kind of luxury. Okay. That's the wrong type of meat. He's just a butcher. I'm gonna check the other text though. Mike, you mean a lot of meat to cut up? More than you can I can handle? Sorry, it's a damn truck. Okay, it's this guy. It's Kyle. It's the Kyle evidence. Uh, file it. Report desk it. Send it. That's a crime. Okay. I gotta check. I gotta check the lights. I'm already dead. The second I stand up right now, I'm dead. I know it. I'm alive. Oh, okay, that it's good that we're checking this. Okay. All the lights are out. Everything's all the lights are out in my house right now. Pretty much all the lights. Check the closet. There's never anyone in the closet. I don't know why I can open this closet. Who would who would break alright, who's gonna break into my house and then rather than get me right away, hide in the closet? None. None of them. Technically, we've done our quota. Everything else is bonus points. Rachel Green. I don't know. I think it's appropriate to sunbathe in your backyard with little clothing on when you willingly know some young teenage boys live around you. Going to a tanning salon is relatively cheap and can be done much faster than putting yourself on display for the neighborhood youth. All right. Take it easy, ma'am. Take it easy. I'll get to the bottom of this. This inappropriate exposure, all right, ma'am? You calm it down, okay? 
This is getting ridiculous. All right. Okay. <laughs> Chat, you guys are so fucking tired. Let's find some photographic evidence. Shut the hell up, Chat, you perps. Come on. Calm it down. All right, we are going to search him on social media, though. My internet's out. That's good. Is he always this mean? Kraken, think about it like this, all right? I have, over the course of, this didn't even happen last time I streamed this. Last time I streamed this, they were like angels. For some reason today, everyone has forgotten how the game works. <laughs> And it's just been yelling the stupidest recommendations all stream on how to solve crimes. Like, imagine telling someone using, like, a phone tracking tool. Imagine telling someone to look up another person's info based off of their contact name in a phone. Like, oh, don't, like, don't keep searching the stuff on this phone. Look up Kyle. Kyle? Yeah, Kyle. That's the guy's name. Look up Kyle. Look up, look up Kyle. Check toilet. This router mission is bad news, chat, because it pretty much just results in me getting fucking killed by a murderer every time someone just runs up here and gets me. How that was a long fucking router. Okay, he's probably in the house. I'm gonna have to like do a double take because I feel like he's already in here and he's gonna kill me. Because I haven't seen him in ages. I don't trust it as far as I can throw it. I really don't. I'm like super jumpy now because I just haven't seen him. Rachel Green, finally getting warmer out. Finally getting warmer out. Your girl's finally gonna get rid of this I so pale look, LOL. Check out my page on Only Admirers. I made a 50% discount. I feel like this person hasn't broken any laws. Uh, I gotta look him up on the DMV though. Gender, female, age, 30 to 35. And that should thin it enough for me to get them uh, without having to type in everything, which takes way more time. Uh, Rachel. I'm going to assume there's nothing fucking here. I'm actually going to use the social media search for this. There's no crime here. I, no, actually, I will look them up on SimDB. I will use the root. I will break into their phone just because I can. Okay, only because I can, though. Only because I can. Not because I want to go through the photos. All right, only because I can. Only, be, only because I, I, it's the responsible thing to do. Search history. Tips for success on only admirers. Okay, excellent. Pictures. All right, nothing really disturbing there. Amber, did you send the application to only admirers? Uh, okay, try to create a gimmick. There's nothing here. I'm just going to open the social media and grab that. Finally, time to catch a few rays. You know, that's, that's it. Ship it. Shred it. Extra money in my bank account. Am I dead? I'm dead. I fucking hate this game. This is getting so dumb. Chat, this is getting so stupid. This is getting so dumb. Like, I'm not even... Why has it gotten harder? They literally did updates to nerf this guy, and so far it has been so much harder than last time. I've checked it every 30 seconds on loop. On loop. Last time you got lucky? I guess I'm perfectly dodging him this time or something. Because uh, I've been... I, I Maybe... I mean, this time, chat, I'll tell you what I'm going to fucking do. This time, I'm going to finish it. Do my two, straight to sleep. Okay, I'm not even gonna stay up for the extra. I, I'm staying up for extra. I'm doing my quota and I'm going and I'm staying up to try to make extra money. I don't need extra money. This time I'm just going to do my quota and I'm going to fucking like immediately go to sleep. You forgot to check the locks after the lights went out. 
the light the locks don't open when the lights go out unless that's new content that they changed because that definitely didn't happen before so i'm going to operate in the assumption that doesn't happen and the only reason the locks open is if for some reason yeah they do oh they just do now oh they just do now oh they just do now You have time to counter him when he hides in the house. Chat, but think about it like this though, chat. Think about it like this. Use your brain for a second, chat. If he has no audio cue and no heads up that he's actually in the house at all, how am I to counter him? Because I will not know he is in the house to counter him. Think about that as we move forward. Use gun. That is honestly what this game is teaching me is that I need a fucking like shotgun to like keep psychos from breaking into my house on loop. I don't know what's so appealing about my home, but they are, they got a raging hard on for my property. <laughs> All right. I need bear traps oh, on every yeah. door. I need to read that email and check out those bones. He did it again. He stole someone's package. This time it was the house across the street. He just came up to their front porch and took a box. I swear, it's probably that young man who lives down the road. This needs to stop happening. Okay? Ma'am, please calm down. Please calm yourself. You're scaring the neighbors. Ma'am. You need to calm down. This guy's definitely not 5'6 exact. We need to give that a... A larger thing like and don't get me wrong I don't hate this game I'm not I don't even dislike it at all it's just that like I've gotten so unlucky this time that it looks like I suck at the game now but I promise you chat I got like multiple days in on casual mode last time <laughs> and now I need like another difficulty called journalist all right Magnus is this you Magnus Sal Salomonson you got a history of this That is a wacky name, Magnus. Holy shit. I need a tomato difficulty. Yeah. Did I spell your name right? Salo Monson. Yes. Okay. You, uh, you document your crimes on your phone, you psycho. You, you fucking mail thief. I'm gonna put you away, Samson. I'm, I'm gonna call you Samson from now on. Uh, fermentation process, best place to find raw food near me. Getting friends to try Icelandic delicacies. How to prepare Harkov, ammonia, great American horror films, understanding American traditions and values, pictures. Just pictures of sushi and food. Text combos, Rick. It's so good to have an American friend. Thank you for being so kind to me when some others are not so nice to me. I love you like a brother, Magnus. You've got character. Besides, I've been dying to try this buried meat you've been cooking up. There's no cooking. It basically just rots for months. It's delicious. You Americans, nah, I didn't mean literally, I didn't literally mean cooking. It's a figure of speech. Now, is it that good? Uh, well, just to let you know, I'm a man who will try anything once, so just let me have it. You Americans have a last meal if you're on death row, yes? Well, if I was hypothetically on death row, Harkov would be my last meal. It's sublime. Okay. I don't know if any of this is crimes. What was he in trouble for? Stealing mail? It's a new restaurant. They don't actually serve humans, do they? Is this the right guy? <laughs> do I have the wrong guy? This guy's talking about like eating people. Have your ammonia goodies coming up soon. Yeah, well, it looks like we'll have to keep searching to try other interesting places. I know. This does not seem like our guy. The Har Carl is done. This guy's just making like Har Carl. Why do I feel like I have the wrong guy? Hang on. I'm gonna do another search here. I'm gonna do a, like a fucking quick double check. Okay, after I check the lights. Because I don't even think... 
He hadn't. He hasn't admitted once to stealing someone's mail. Is jump scare on? Oh yes. Oh yes, it is. What even? Chat. What even happens if jump scares is off? I sort of want to like try it for a round just to see what the fuck that even does. At this point, all right. I'm gonna put this guy in on the DMV again. Gender male. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna broaden the age and height window a little bit more. So see if there's like anyone else. Stephen Hayes. I'm gonna look this guy up on phones real quick. Oh my God. I, if I look him up on phones though, I won't have Magnus anymore. Fuck it, I have to. Uh, clear. I don't think this is our guy. But if he talks about mail on his phone, then it is. So let's see. Talk about mail? Doesn't even get me anymore, bud. It's nothing. Now I gotta like check my lights though, cause like, I'm, now I'm worried that that does do something. Doesn't even get me anymore. It's nothing. That locked? Okay, that's still locked. Who even is this guy? I don't know. He sort of reminds me of you, Crank, a little bit. If I don't know if that's an... I don't think that's an insult. He's very happy. You're pretty happy. Sort of reminds me a little bit of you. I guess I'm not, like, physically scared of you, which is why it doesn't really scare me. I also remember that one time that you, like, snuck up on me while I was on the computer at your house and you injected me with drugs and, uh, knocked me out and then I woke up, uh, upside down in a bear cave and a bear was trying to eat me. And that was, like, a fun little adventure escape that you did for me. Like, that was a fun little, like, thing we did, you know? You tried to feed me to a bear in a cave in California. That was good. Yo, so, um... I saw this guy looking up anime. Missing package. Uh, I think. Sorry, Magnus. Uh, it looks like we got St uh, Steven here. It was actually our guy. Sorry. It looks like we wanted this guy. Looks like he ordered loot boxes and a lot of anime figurines. What should I do if my friends start watching dubbed anime? My package was delivered to a different address, so what should I do? I'm gonna break that motherfucking screensaver, bro. The face is irrelevant. Bro. Can make that my wallpaper. Nathan. Yo, did you see that? Uh, oh my fucking god. <laughs> uh, we need detective mode to read that one, chat. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm not even gonna bother on that one. You guys can fucking, you guys can fucking turn on detective mode. If you want to check out that one. I don't have enough time to detect that. Okay, it was the package thing. This guy just had a package delivered to the wrong place. I'm sticking with that. Okay. Ship it. Shred it. Cha-ching. Hayden Lewis. I saw Hayden the other day at work. She was on a side project that we were both working on together when I brought up to where she acted like it was the first time she'd heard about. She played off as being tired from work and we'd sit down for coffee another time to go over it. I know Hayden pretty well and she despises coffee. She hates coffee and now suddenly she wants to drink coffee. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Suspicion comes to the fact that I know she has an identical twin named Amelia. I've never met her before. So this guy thinks that Hayden has been body snatched by her identical twin Amelia. Sort of like a freaky like Friday swap thing going on. Like, uh, like swapping their lives to see how bad the other one has it sort of thing. Just like a, like a movie. Old switcheroo. Okay. I can dig it. Let's look them up and ruin their lives. Female. Age. 25. 235. Hair. Blonde. Eyes. Blue. Time to check the lights. Time to check the lights. Coffee sucks, chat. 
All right, we got more barrels, right? We still got barrels. We still got barrels. Still got more barrels. Someone in chat said that chat. It wasn't me who said it. Hayden Lewis. Alias Hayden Lewis 89. Okay. A Hayden Lewis 89. Oh, that was their. No, I put that in their name tab. All right, Hayden. Get the fuck out of here, you little bastard. Oh my god, this game has gotten harder, chat. I can't, chat, I gotta go to the bathroom. I, 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 I'm gonna take like a quick second here, okay? Just one second. The, I, this game, the dev lied about making it easier because this fucking shit has happened twice now. <laughs> I have gotten this guy seconds before he breaks into my house and then the breaker goes out therefore showing me that the game is watching and laughing its ass off I'll be right back Hey, I'm back. Let's go get that power. To flip the breaker in the file room closet. Let's go flip that breaker before that psycho realizes the power just went out. Click. Let's check all the windows. All the windows. All the windows. We're gonna die. This is, uh, this is it. This is it. This is it. It's over. The second I sit down, I'm dead. I seal my fate the moment I sit down. I'm gonna climb in the closet for a second. I think the closet, like, sometimes fools him. Window in kitchen is open. Except it isn't. Fucking stupid idiot. Idiot. Moron. Okay. Sorry, I'm just addressing this now, but I'm so grateful for the kind words about my sister. She'd be so happy to know just how loved she was. I know she and mom are up there smiling down at me. Absolutely devastated at the loss of my beautiful sister, Amelia. We're inseparable. Oh, there's something weird going on here, chat. I don't buy this for a second. Everyone knows twins have soul links. If one dies, the other instantly fucking dies at the same time. Uh, it's how it, it's how it's always been. Okay, so I'm gonna look up this person's uh, private phone number. All right, I'm going to find out this per this person, this twin, uh, severed the soul link and then murdered their other twin. Okay. I right, Hayden. If that's even your real name, Hayden. Let's see what you're really like. What are you hiding, Hayden? Hang on, I have to die. I'm alive. Yeah, every time I look, every time I get off the desk and I think I'm about to die. That's honestly one of the best feelings in the world is the second where I don't get a jump scare and I'm still good. I get real happy. This game, 
for all of its bullshit, when I'm not dead when I get off my desk, dude, I get like a real smile on my face. I'm like, that's good. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. There's nothing I can do to like stop it. If you check your cameras too often, you can get power surges and blackouts. Oh my God. You're right. Perhaps that's why I carefully check and flicker the lights on my camera so that I don't cause a blackout because I've known that since the first session, since quite literally the first two minutes. Chat, all right, here's how I'm gonna deal with backseating from now on. If your stupid comment is something that I've been actively doing on my stream the whole time, and you're just saying random bullshit facts, I'm going to ban you, okay? That's the new thing, because you're adding me with this shit, and <laughs> I'm physically already adjusting. I'm already doing it. I don't know what the fuck is up with you today, chat. I don't know what is going on with you today, but I don't, is there something that you drank? Did you get, you guys get like a fucking, drink something sugary? You got some Mountain Dew in you, gang? You zooming? Are you zooming? I think you might be zooming. It's a full moon. Yeah. Ugh, damn it. The internet went out. Now the internet's out. I need to go reset the router in the back room closet. Son of a bitch. We love you. I already knew that. That's going to be a ban. <laughs> I'm going to have to take you out for that one. Sorry, bud. Next time, next time try harder. I don't like the router thing. I lose so much time doing this. I feel like I'm definitely dead. All right, chat. As soon as I finish this one, if I file it right, I'm going to check all the lights. I'm going to instantly go to sleep. All right, no hesitation, no surrender. Okay. I instantly go to sleep once I filed this. Search history. Most expensive purses, uh, difference between murder and manslaughter. All right. Is it how to claim someone's life insurance? Pictures. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Get on out of here. Doesn't work. Doesn't work on me. But I will have to check the lights now because I feel like... That does usually, uh, I don't know. I feel like I gotta check the lights whenever he shows up, just in case. We're good. Difference between murder and manslaughter, and then the only picture on that phone is the picture of a fucking dead guy. Text conversations. Natalie. Hayden, are you okay? Your neighbors told me they heard screaming from your house. God, Natalie, Nick Nicholas and I got in a huge argument about my sister, and he ran out. I don't know, uh... I'm sorry, uh, I don't know, I think you've been drinking, uh, do you want to come over, blah 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 blah, Nicholas, I'm home from work, uh, how would you define my relationship, who are you to define the relationship with my sister? Uh, you're insensitive prick, you're crazy, Hayden, I know, look, I know this isn't Hayden, I know this is you, Amelia, cut the shit, Amelia, what did you do to Hayden? Okay, there's some, I think Hayden's lost his fucking mind. Well, not Hayden. Nicholas has lost his fucking mind. He thinks that... He thinks that... He thinks... Okay, chat. He thinks that Hayden is Amelia. He thinks that his wife is dead and Amelia has... Has stolen her sister's identity. Maybe she did. Well, all I see is the fucking... All I see is the dead body of her having killed her husband. Uh, with the what's the difference between... Murder and manslaughter. So frankly, chat, I do have a crime I'm planning on reporting. Because if I would be a bad detective if I didn't. Because, <laughs> uh... How many evidence can I do? Only one? But it's not going to count, dude, because that's not a real crime. Bro, that doesn't count as a real crime, bro. <laughs> that's not really what they were reporting. You can't do that. You can't do that, bro. You can't report that. That's not the real crime. <laughs> That's my real voice, chat. God, what do I do? What is the answer? Chat, at this point, this is like a moral conundrum. 
You guys can just tell me the fucking answer. At this point, you can just tell me, like, the answer to this thing. Because I don't know what the fucking report needs to be here. Because technically, this person was reported for impersonating their sister. That's also what the guy thinks. Okay. But... We don't have any evidence of that. Okay. The picture there is of a dead guy. Look up the sister's phone. Look up the sister's phone. If I try this and it doesn't exist, which I know it won't, chat, because this stuff never works, okay? Uh, I'm gonna be so fucking mad at you guys because this is all your fault. Besides, her last name is certainly not Lewis. It's certainly something else because she probably inherited her husband's name. So, this probably won't work anyways because we don't have her real maiden name wow shocker who would have thought that we couldn't look that up chat almost as if it's not possible because there hasn't been a single point where i've had to do that dmv dmv yeah i can check based off how similar they look oh my god chat chat I'm fucking, I'm following my heart. And my heart says a crime was committed. Yep, that was right. That was correct. Time to get murdered. I'm alive. All right, here's what I'm doing, chat. I'm doing the smart thing. I'm gonna check all the lights. I'm gonna check the locks. I go to sleep. Locked. We're not doing any extras. We're not breaking the quota. Locked. How do I go to sleep? How do I go to sleep? How me go sleep? How me go sleep? I know me go sleep. I know me able go sleep. I think you wait out the timer. I have to finish you waiting until 4 a.m. or doing the extras. Oh, 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 I'm never gonna get off at day one on journalist difficulty, bro. I'm not good enough. I'm not, I'm not good enough. I, I don't know where all my gamer talent went, but it's not here. It's on break. Knowing my luck, the murderer got in while I was doing this, so, uh, Max Beaumont. Max is a bartender recently when all these girls started asking about around with their boyfriends about being drugged in the bar. He started acting pretty weird. Drugging in the bar. All right, Max. Uh, a casual search of your credit DB and your SIM card ought to get to the bottom of this, Max Beaumont. Oh my God, select the whole. Okay, we'll just get the last part. That's fine, let's add a T at the end every time. There's a murder in my house. I'm alive. Mondo Mar, finest hour, calling for duty. Uh, Ethernet cable, that's nothing. And air freshener, okay, that's nothing. SIM card. Technically, it finishes the uh, last letter, so we're good. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Forgot the tea, forgot the tea, forgot the tea, forgot the tea. Did I not just show you that I didn't need to... Oh, no, hang on. Hang on one second, chat. There it is. Give me a little break. I need a break from you. I need a break from some of you. Specifically. I need a break from a couple of you. For a little bit. Just for like the rest of the night. For the rest of this, this night in game, alright? Nice dry fruit. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Ah, even better. All right. There it is. That's even better. Yeah, I got disabled cha channel points because I don't like that it lets you bypass that by having fucking channel points because who doesn't have a billion of those? That's stupid. Now you'll have to subscribe. So give me your money if you want to 
backseat me uh, meaningless shit that doesn't apply to me in the game. Now, excuse me, a murderer is gonna kill me in about 10 seconds. I have to be ready, I have to look nice. I have to look presentable for my death, okay? All right, Max, search history, one of the best dogs to get. If you are away all the time, good lawyers in my area. Steps to prove you're being framed for a crime. Pictures, text convos, Marcus. Hey, bro, the beer's coming today. Uh, fuck off, bro. Hey, Marcus, so this bitch called Taylor just texted me saying, I drugged a girl earlier. What the fuck? You're with me the whole time. What are they talking about? Taylor. Uh, sorry, you have the wrong guy here. What the fuck? I was behind the bar lifting boxes the whole time. You can ask my boy Marcus. See you in court, bitch. I'm pretty sure Marcus, uh, I'm gonna back, I'm gonna do the Marcus one. Because he was talking about lifting the boxes in that text, which is his alibi, and covers him. So I'm gonna use Marcus as the evidence, and I just gotta search him on DMV DB. Uh, male, max, hair, brown, eyes, blue. I gotta check my lights while I'm searching this. Uh, max Balmall. File it. Run it, and I did it wrong somehow, even though it was obviously just a difference of evidence preference. Like, I didn't do anything. I checked all of his stuff. <sighs> Some of the fucking law shit is really vague in this game. Like, it's like genuinely preference of like, hmm, which one of these see? Hey, get out of here. Get lost now. Go on now, go on now, get. No more of that. Uh, whatever. Gets us one more closer to our quota. I've been down the dumps the past couple months after finding out the woman who I thought was going to, I was going to marry instead of catfishing me was instead catfishing me for for cash and various gifts the whole time. Uh, all right. One uh, unique service called the Fisherman. I would love to read about this, but that's not a thing I have. We thought it was a joke at first, but the Fisherman brand is real. They catfish for a living. There's a whole organization of catfish. All right. I'm going to get in there. A uh, male, age 35 to 45, weight 190, black hair, hairs of lies. Only Jesse Porter comes up. Jesse Porter. I should have known better. Am I dead? I'm alive. I gotta check my lights. I should have known it was you, Jesse. Okay, windows are locked. Yeah, look at all you over there, chat. Finally behaving. Look at you. About damn time. About damn time. Okay. Evidence. Uh, all right, Jesse. Porter. Let's look you up for catfishing. What do you got? Ugh, this fucking search thing sucks. All right. Root kit. I'm dead. Took way too long. He's in the house. I know it. He might not be. I'm gonna just keep working. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep working. Search history. Uh, LED bulbs. Are all devices listening to what we say? Smart lock. Autonomous car. Pictures. Excellent. This is some excellent stuff. Text combos. Carmine. We have a problem. Client broke the code. Uh, turns out the target was the ex-client's boyfriend. All right. I'm, I don't even need to read the rest of this to know that this guy's this guy's crazy. Change of targets. Target is in our possession. Sending photo now. Well, that's the evidence. Uh, your application passed my desk today. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm just going to file it. Hang on. But before I do, I have to check all my lights prior or I will be killed by a Russian guy breaking into my house at, um, at like 5 in the morning when like the sun's coming up. So let me just check all the light, all the shit. Check these windows. All the other windows we already checked. They're good. 
I'm gonna file this now, and if I get Russian, I'm gonna play a round of fucking detective mode to, like, zen out before we play more of this, okay? Finally, I can get to bed early for once. I'm alive! Hey! Oh, no, I want emote and subscriber only mode off. You guys can come back out now, for now, okay? I don't want to see any more tomfoolery in here, chat. <laughs> this is dark. Man, my character just wants to be murdered today. Alright. That wasn't that bad. If I... Chat, basically what I'm going to do now is whenever I die, I'm just going to play like a night of... Uh, detective mode, okay? Like, to just zen, okay? Because this is, like, exhausting how much more difficult this round has been in general. So I'm going to play, like, a round of... Why are all the lights out? Every fucking light is out. What is my character thinking? I'll probably play, like, a round of, like, detective mode just to, like, zen. Because, like, I like to be able to read this stuff, but, like, this game mode... It'll save my day if I go do that, but, like... I think it will, at least. But, like... It's exhausting. I like to be able to read these stories. I really would. Okay. Whew! Right, I got some money for upgrades. I'm gonna buy the, uh... Instant... I guess, debit search? Social search. Instant social search. So what are we doing? Jeff Christensen. Uh, my next door neighbors are selling their house and... We're having an open house to help with the, with the sale this Saturday. I caught one of them picking something up in the far corner of the backyard and stuffing it into their purse. I immediately ran over, but came up empty. Why would you run over immediately? What? Fine. They're picking up something from their yard. What is that? Hang on a second here. What is that? What is that person doing in their backyard? Picking something up in their backyard and putting it into a bag. I'm going to I'm gonna fucking detective the shit out of this. Just like Encyclopedia Brown. And it ran over. What? Fucking maniac. Uh, I immediately ran over but came up empty trying to find the person. I found one of the homeowners, Jeff, and filled him in on what- Oh, it wasn't one of the homeowners. I thought it was one of the homeowners that did that. And I was like, you're fucking like running over because the homeowner put something away in their yard? While both of us were standing above a freshly dug up soil, I said the item looked like a plastic freezer bag with something inside. He said he was shocked that he didn't even notice it happen. I asked him if he knew that there, if there was something buried in his backyard. He shook his head no. I saw dirt under, de under Jeff's fingernails, but given the previous denial of events, I didn't press him on it. All right, let me stop you right there, bud. Uh, in normal, typical conversation, there's no fucking situation where you manually check for dirt under someone's fingernails. That doesn't happen. You're insane. Go to jail. I'm arresting you, person who filed this report. You're going to jail for a long time. I'm putting you away. I'm putting you away for a long time. Okay, male, Jeff, hair, brown, eyes, green. He's in the house. I'm alive. I'm alive. Jeff Christians. Man, Jeff, what is this? Oh, that, oh, that's how it works. Okay, so if I get their DMV, I instantly get the info for their uh, socials. That's great. Wait a minute. I thought I just saw someone. Nope. It was nothing. It was nothing at all. Chat? It's real quiet out today. Real quiet. Awfully quiet, even. All right. All right, Jeff. Explosive used in building demolition. Change your identity. Pictures. Ah. Uh, cap. Good work, kid. You always deliver. Package sent down at the issue. All right, I get the feeling. Uh, because it cleaned that shithole so we didn't have to. Should rename that one to Scrub Free Bubbles. I don't understand what's happening, Jeff. Uh, you're not a nice homeowner? Jake Club. Desi is heading our way now. Uh, triple check. Make sure she's fine. Hey, fuckface, she's not an idiot. She's not searching to the high heavens for this thing in the backyard. Holy shit, you're totally freaking out. 
This is how the brains blow. The brain blows it. Uh, calm down, kiddo. Desi knows how to pick things up. Wife, Jeff, if you don't get your ass back, hang on one second. If you don't get your ass back to the house in five minutes, you'll be sleeping on the couch for a week. If you think you can just ignore me and wander in as you please, you're dead wrong. Keep the shit up and I'm leaving. Uh, I'll be home really soon. I just need to finish up helping one of the guys. All right, it's this cap thing. This guy's making bombs, I think. I gotta check my lights. Every light. Every light in my property is out. That's good. That's what I like. I like uh, every light in my house being gone. I thought I just saw a guy in the window there. I thought I actually saw a guy like just fucking around on the window here, but I was wrong. That scared me. I thought I saw someone. Oh, that was spooky. Never seen that guy. The murder, the, the kidnapper. I don't know why they had to nerf the kidnapper, because it's the psycho murderer that usually gets me, dude. Huh? Oh, the Wi-Fi's down now. That's good. Well, actually, you know, technically, I think it's Jake's thing. Fireworks. This is... It's the Jake Club thing. If I was going to use something for evidence, it wouldn't be the other message. It would be the one of them, them actually picking something up. You know? Because that's quite literally the event that happened. Like they were trying to pick something up. They couldn't find it right away, so they got, like, stressed out. It was a bomb, like, buried in the ground. Guy makes bombs. I can only do one evidence, so I can't include everything. I should really consider working during the day. But if I'm not up at night, they're just going to casually break in whenever they want, dude. These guys don't wait because I'm fucking sleeping. We know that. I kind of a murderer breaking into my house while I was sleeping last time and ruining my playthrough. All right, we know that. Ship it. Bazingus. Tanya Carter. Uh, this Friday, I heard rumors that a lady was responsible for in seriously injuring 6th grader Blake Hannity in a hit-and-run was Tanya Carter. But they don't just give a full name unless I need to look up Blake Hannity as well. Uh, word is they got security footage that showed the license plates, but they came back to a vehicle of an entirely different make and model. The minimal description of the vehicle using the incident somewhat matches the car Tanya drives. Alright, we're gonna look up Tanya. On the DMV. DMV. Female. Brown hair, eyes, gray. Where you at, Tanya? Easy. You got social media? You do. I think I've spent more time in therapy for my 10-year-old son trying to help him cope with his bullying issues than I've spent on gas and water combined. Some days I'd rather die than see my precious child like this. One of these kids in the school is devil incarnate. I'm getting real tired of being caged up mama bear. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. This is... All right. All right, here we go, Chad. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Give me one second here. I'm just going to go ahead and look up, look up, uh, Tanya Carter. This sounds like crimes. He ran down a sixth grader or some shit. Fucking maniac. <laughs> this is like what the guidance counselor's for. Got it. Oh, you thought I missed it, huh? Well, come get me. Oh. Man, my lights are getting worse. Okay. Search history, Westbrook Elementary, bullying at Westbrook Elementary, Blake Hannity, bully Westbrook, Westbrook Elementary. What are you expecting to find on Blake? <laughs> Casually fucking multiple parents are like this. Hi, this is the Blake uh, bully helpline uh, Where we, we've all had kids bullied by Blake Blake's everywhere, bro. You just gotta live with it Will hang on uh, there's some more will how fast does the car have to go before a crash is lethal will 50 miles per hour kill a child 
Okay, so the search history is definitely going to be damning. Pictures. Text combos. Adrian. Mom, I'm feeling sick. Handy boy, give me trouble again. Should I call the school and tell them? Uh, you want pizza? Okay, we're going to use the search history there. Uh, well, 50 miles per hour. Kill a child. How fast does car have to go before a crash is lethal? That seems like a... Uh... Hey! <laughs> again? Is this like... Whoa, dude. This keeps happening. This keeps happening. Every time. I mean, I know that, like, it's because my lights are on for long enough. But that used to be... Pl I used to not... It used to not break it that quickly. I know that, like, it's causing that. Me having the lights on for an extra second. But it used to last a lot longer than that. I gotta check all the lights in all the rooms again. At least if I get the light on him for like a second, he fucks off. Just need to like flash him. Like a little stun flash. So I'm gonna include the, uh, I'm actually gonna include the one thing here. And, um, then the text conversation with Adrian. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. The social media post. Those two. That's incre- that's it. Looking up, will 50 miles per hour kill a child? And then looking up, and then the social media post, which is like, I'm upset that I'm not able to do anything. This kid is devil incarnate. That's that's a pretty damning double combo there. That's pretty much that's pretty much all we need on that one, I'd say. Is though is those two to bring this one uh, bring this one around, I'd say. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and ship this in. Chiching. <laughs> you don't even get me anymore, Kraken. Good try though. That was pretty funny. That was pretty silly, but you're not gonna get me with that shit anymore, alright? I'm tough. I'm a big boy. It's not even scary. <laughs> Next time, I'll get you. Yeah, it's gonna take more than that, bud. You'll have to, you'll have to run at a solid, like, fucking two miles an hour to catch me now. Alright. Unknown. Female, I hate it when it's unknown because that means I actually have to, like, do the age and everything right. And sometimes this shit is not accurate. Eye color, hazel, let's do it like this. Okay, that we got some, so let me uh, narrow it by weight now. Oh, nice. Nina Winter. Okay, Nina. So, who are you? Uh, I saw a woman who appeared to be luring a kid into a white van. An older man was driving it. When I went over to investigate further, she started stuttering like she was on crack or something and tried to get the kid inside the vehicle as fast as possible. I managed to talk to her, but she said she had to get going because the kid was late for soccer practice. They sped off pretty quickly, so I just assumed that the woman was telling the truth. As I thought about it more, it started nagging at me. The kid seemed okay and not in any danger, but you can never be too careful these days. True, 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 true. Social media presence. No one ever has social media. Why'd I buy that one? Uh, SimDB. Nina Winter. Okay, Nina. Search you on police records, too. Not a police record. Okay. Usually, the buying credit DB never pops up with anything, so I don't usually go for it unless I need, like, extra info. Fuck! God damn it! It's, like, so finicky, Sly. It should be... I, I need, like, arrow key controls for that shit, dude. All right, let's search him on debit then while I'm doing while I'm waiting for this. Fuck! I was like one off. Whatever, I can like check my lights and stuff. You left out the R. Shut up! Uh, before I ban you, even if you're doing a bit. <laughs> Fucking Jesus! Hang on. Hold up. Okay. I'm cool, I'm cool, chat. I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool. Please? God? Okay, cool. I don't know why that light wouldn't turn on.
This game makes me, like, really fucking anxious. I mean, obviously, it's made to. But, like, extremely so. So what have you bought? Uh, Victorian chair. And gas. Phone charger. Rootkit takes so long. It's such a huge punishment if you fuck it. I'm out like another minute of not being able to do this. No. Like, quite literally, I'm out a minute. Any day now. Any day now. Search history. How- I'm sorry, I saw some weird stuff in there. How to make realistic dead body makeup, free drama scripts online, realistic skull props, pictures. Text conversations, Jared, hey Jared, I left all the props at Nick's house by the way. Thanks, mom, hey mom, uh, blah blah blah, see you then. Nicole. I don't think this is Ni- I don't think it's Nina. Wait a minute, is this the wrong girl? Oh, no. Oh, no. We got another, like, fucking problem. This is not the person. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to broaden the DMV search, then. 15 to 35. Height, 46 to 56. Weight, 125 to 150 again. Female. Uh, we're gonna leave all the other stuff blank. See how many we get off of that. Oh boy. Shit. Okay, hair color brown. I don't trust eye color very much, so usually that one's wrong. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna narrow the age to 20. And the- yeah, we're gonna narrow the age to what it's supposed to be. Okay, it leaves us with Amelie Lintner, which we know is definitely not it. It could be this person. Max Snow. Let's check their, early, their stuff here. Uh, med school. That's definitely nothing. Fuck, dude. Isabella. Shit. This is definitely not the person. It's definitely not Nina. I know that. Let's narrow it down to five foot tall and higher. Laura? Oh. Hey! Get out of here! I knew that was coming. I, le I actually left it on for too long that time. And that was really bad timing with the uh, psycho Russian guy here. Now I gotta check all the windows. All of them. That one's locked. I'll check every window, baby. All of them. I might just chat. This this is a really cursed job if I can't find the person. It's all locked. Uh, Claire? Oh, good, the internet's out now. Very good. One more thing to cut in my job for today. I just gotta get to the router. I might just knee-jerk shred this one and take the L. The kid's probably fine. But you know what isn't gonna be fine? My dignity. If I don't fucking beat day two. Because, I, I mean, we all agree, yes? That person that I did have on the fucking phone thing is not our guy. That is a different person. Totally uninvolved. So I've got the wrong person here. This person looks like a psycho. Hang on, this might be it. I have to search them on like... Get the hell out of here, Laura. Fuck off, Laura. You look like a maniac. Claire McNeil should have known. Should have known. You got that maniac look to you, Claire. 
You my guy? Weird bump on horseback. Boyfriend is missing. Okay, that's it. I give up. <laughs> there wasn't even anything. I got it. You know, evidently, if you shred it, you don't need any evidence attached to the shred. I just found out. Don't not even their ID. I don't need anything to shred it. If I, if it's a fucking false case, I can insta shred it without any of the correct info. I don't have to prove it. I can just I can just follow my heart. <laughs> Apparently, because <laughs> I didn't even do anything. I just fucking insta shredded. Well, I gotta check the lights. Thought I saw a guy there. Okay, I'm currently hearing a plane going overhead. I think that means that the uh, Russian kidnap guy is currently airdropping onto the roof of my house. So we gotta be really careful. We're gonna have to activate the uh, rooftop turrets now to keep him from uh, climbing down the chimney to get us. It's a next level tactic. It's pretty high tier. I have so much clutter on my screen now because of like that whole mess. Holy shit. What's next? Unknown. So, uh, I was out at a club with some friends. I saw this guy all over this girl. She clearly wasn't into it. And when I was going home, I saw him following the girl. They went to an alley. I heard screaming, but I couldn't stop to help. What do you mean you couldn't stop to help? I was I was busy. <laughs> well, I wasn't busy enough to go home immediately after and file this. A uh, massive report. You couldn't stop to help, huh? Sorry, sorry, gang. I'm gonna be late for my fortnight. I gotta get home. My mommy, my mom's gonna get real mad if I if I don't get home. I'm, I'm late for curfew, bro. I gotta get home. <laughs> Sorry, better luck next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm dead. I'm so fucking nervous and jumpy right now. Uh, all right. If we have another situation of not knowing any of the info of the person, which is super scuffed and bad every time, we'll try to go as specific as possible, even though that basically never works. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the weight a little bit more broad. Hazel okay, so security cam. He's in the house. He's in the house. Lewis. He's the only one that pops up. He's got a... Finally! Yes, I've got her! I will do as you command, Master. The sacrifice will commence at the place she and I first laid eyes on. Okay. Alright, now that's... That's going in the evidence bin. Uh, SimDB. Let me just... Hang on, I'm actually gonna also look him up. Yeah, sorry, bro. Couldn't stop to help you. <laughs> I was busy. <laughs> I'm sure she's fine. Okay. Oh, come on. Like a miss the button. Is he here? He's not. In that case, I'm gonna check the lights real quick. Time's almost up. That's all the more reason to be extra careful. Search history. Desperate woman, homeless shelters, pictures, pictures of women, text conversations, brunette babe. Should have been grateful. The master wanted you as a sacrifice. You're bitchy as hell and no one wanted to be with you. I do find myself missing the way you, uh, okay. Do find myself missing the way you screamed and kicked though. Okay, I've got enough here. I've got enough here. I don't know. I don't got time for this. Okay. Robbie Linden. 
Oh, fuck, it's not one I recognize, so I can't instantly fucking super file it. I'm like, I'm just gonna check on loop, like, the doors and stuff. I'm not very dead set. I only have, like, fucking two minutes before the night ends. I'm not interested in losing. So I'm probably just gonna, like, I'm probably just gonna check cameras and, like, ignore the last part of the quota and just kill time. I'm not, I'm not gonna have time to do this one. Especially with two evidence for it. I'm gonna do what I know. And check camera feeds. Because we only have like fucking two minutes before this round ends. I didn't even use it that much. That was like nothing. I thought it was consistent. I guess it's like, I guess they've changed it. Because before it was just like you couldn't use it for a certain length of time. That is just random when it happens right now. What night is it? Only night two on casual mode. I gotta check all the doors. I don't want any of the lights to be off when the round ends. God forbid. This game is hard. Imagine a nightmare. Uh, only the dev one. Only the dev has the nightmare achievement. Is it almost time? Yeah, like five minutes in game. I'm waiting to like fucking pop out of this thing and the murderer like stabs me in the neck and I die. Nightmare root kits are five sliders on night one. Oh my god. Yeah, fuck that. Alright, night three. Jesus Christ. Windows already locked. No problem. And we made a little bit extra, so we got like... We got some... We got another like upgrade we can do. And I think uh, the next one is to do... I think the next smartest one to do is immediately the police records because I always forget to do that one. I don't usually search police records and I just need it like somewhere like quickly. So I'm going to buy the police records upgrade. I think, that's, I think that's the good call. Dev knows all the cases. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not fucking upset that he got, he has the achievement, but I'm like, I mean, that just makes sense. I mean, I just can't believe anyone winning this on Nightmare Difficulty. I, I just actually, like, this is one of the first times in the game, I can't believe someone could win this on Nightmare Difficulty without it genuinely just being a matter of having memorized every single case. You would have to know all 200 cases memorized uh, without any fucking, like, without any question in your mind what they are because you wouldn't have any time. You wouldn't have any time to search that shit. You need, most of your time has to be spent in cameras. Checking for Tanner. Saw two guys uh, in a fight outside the bar last night. One was drunk, but the other seemed as lucid as I was. He was pretty tall, but it didn't look like much of a tough guy. I couldn't see him all too well because it was so dark, but they were yelling at each other, and this guy just kept yelling. You step into me, you piece of shit? You step into me? I don't know what that means, but the drunk man just staggering around, he didn't seem like he was even aware of what was happening to him. The guy threw a fierce punch that sent him reeling. He collapsed on the sidewalk. The guy just walked off laughing, mimicking the punch he threw at the guy. You step into me? You step in? All right, let's get his DMV info. Age, 25 to 35. We've been really dumpstering on with like the DMV stuff. Like, we're just getting, like, super bullshit, like, unknowns all the time, which is super not great. We want we want ones with names, because names we can search really quickly and get all the info for. But, like, look at this one. Like, we have to, like, we have to guess which one of these people it is, because it's not precise enough. So which one is closest to six feet? God damn it. Could be Edmund. First big project. We're going to judge them based off their social media. Uh, bullshit. This could either be Edmund, Victor, who has a social media alias. I'm riding a wave of lightning tonight, warning to everyone not to fuck with me. If you try to step to me, I will crush you into dust. Hang on, let me cross check this. You stepping to me, you piece of shit. 
you stepping to me. All right, Edmund. Taking you out. <laughs> All right, Edmund, you little bitch. Thought you could slip by me? Thought you could slip by me? Stepping? We stepping, bro? I feel like I feel like that stepping thing is some evidence of an assault charge there. I swear these players have their heads in the fucking clouds. Three losses in a row, six in the whole season. Seeing these bitch boys getting paid millions, blah 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 blah. Okay. Uh, you have you have any fucking records for beating people up, bud? You got any records of this shit? Just want to recall arrested two men engaging in a violent brawl outside. Okay, I'm gonna have to look up... No, I will have to look up his shit. Okay. I will have to look up his his sim. But I'm pretty sure I've already got enough for him. Unless he makes a text or takes a literal picture of beating that guy up. Or, like, talks about, like, hey, I kicked this guy's ass. I doesn't have there to already say he did it. But, um... I'd like a better... I'd like something better. Real quick. Oh, that was close. Sometimes it doesn't make the sound. Social history, bar near me, worms, do worms fart? This guy's a man after my own heart. We're still on for drinks tonight, Vic. This is serious, man. There's fucking police here and shit. Okay, that's uh, that that's enough. I don't even need. He, this guy's fucking. This guy's going down. I'm taking him out. All right, Chad, we're taking him out. Bazongas. I don't need more than that. I got gotcha. you. Taking you out. I don't have time to read more than that, Chad. We'll do detective mode probably once I like lose, and we'll just like go through a couple like for fun. Once I like die in this playthrough currently, and then we can come back to it. But, um, I got enough there to take him out. Okay, I don't, I don't have time to read it all. What happens if we get all eight to eight, eight out of eight? The round, uh, the day ends automatically. Which is actually worse because it means that if there's any lights off, the murderer, the, um, pi the kidnapper can just break in and kill me. Uh, which I wasn't aware of. I, I knew of it being possible, but I never had it happen until earlier this stream. But yeah, that can happen. But chat, the question is, the real important questions is, do worm fart? Cause they but uh, they have but both sides, don't they? Yes. Do worm fart? Hang on, I'm just gonna look it up in real life. Do worms fart? You see, I like chat. Okay, here's what I like. Uh, cause when I looked up, do worms fart? Uh, actually instantly auto corrects the question according to google to does worms fart which is so fucking appropriate <laughs> that that whoever was looking this up also used just broken fucking grammar does worms fart does it does worms fart but does they do worms fart it's been asked on cora which is basically an encyclopedia. Worms don't have the same digestive tracts as one that generates methane gas. Uh, earthworms, uh, they do not fart. Haven't been around a worm's butthole lately. Uh, plan to stay above ground as much as possible, says uh, Butch. Thank you, Butch. Uh, he's a... Uh, He's really covering our bases here, chat. Thanks, Butch. Kind of you on that. I, too, haven't been... I haven't gotten my head down there to check. I, I haven't put my nose to the to the dirt there to get a good whiff to check. But uh, I'll let you guys know if I get out there and got, got some time one-on-one, mano-a-mano with some worms. mano a wormo, if you, if you will. Well, time to die to a murderer. He's probably here. He's not. Okay, Clifford. Now that I got your name, this is one of those nice ones. I'm actually gonna clear the DMV. Uh, mail. 
hair red. That's all we need. Clifford. Okay, Clifford. I was taking some trash out to the bin on the side of my house when I heard the neighbor, my neighbor, Mrs. Abbott, screaming in pain. She's been married to her new husband, Mr. Abbott, for a little over two months now. Right. I talked to her sometime this past week, and she was going on and on about how smitten she is being a newlywed. Happy for her, I didn't want to ruin the conversation, but noticing the makeup wrinkling uh, from her large smile, I had to say something. I asked her if she was trying to hide a bruise around the air, around her bruise around eye. She got embarrassed after realizing that her makeup wasn't covering it. She told me it was just some stupid accent, nothing to worry about. Ah, domestic abuse. I'm taking you out, Clifford. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Clifford, what's your alias? Clifford, what is going on, Clifford? Whoa, 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 hey. Clifford. You simping, bro? You, uh, what's going on here, Papa Simp, uh, 69er? Pop, pop, pop simp? Papa Simp? 69? Are we, uh... Are we in the same world right now? Papa Simp 69er. Well, I can't believe it. It looks like the Nova Tuskers won in a landslide victory, 31-0. to zero. I had to end my last relationship. It just wasn't going well, even though I tried as hard as I could. Fortunately, I found another lady I'm growing quite fond of, and she seems to really like me, too. This is an alternative timeline. This is not the same man. I cannot accept it. All right, Clifford. Let's see. Let's look into your dark past. Clifford69. I've got 20 bucks. I should be buying another upgrade. Uh, upgrades, instant IMEI. Give me his info. Hi, Clifford. <laughs> okay, jump scare, bro. <laughs> Have you hide underneath this fucking camera until he looks at him? I'm gonna jump up. The jazz hands him. It's really just a wholesome little little surprise. I do it around the whole neighborhood. That's like that's like surprising people, you know. Whatever, man. Do you even flinch? Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore, dude. It's just like sort of like a inconvenient like little curveball that happens every once in a while. Just gonna check all the lights. Ah, here we go. The lights are off. I have to check the uh, window lock as well, unfortunately. Tomato, you have to stop with the voice. But it works really well for this character, Chad. <laughs> if it wasn't quite literally the best voice to give this fucking weirdo, I wouldn't be doing it. But it is. Flowers for my wife. How do I keep my wife happy? Uh, pressure points for headaches. How to be a great husband. Seems like this guy's just trying to be a... Seems like this guy's just simping. This, this, this seems like some Papa Simp 69er stuff here. Uh, I want to say I'm so thankful to have a man like you. Uh, thank you so much for the lovely flowers. Hey, babe, how's the headache holding up? Uh, I ordered some stuff to start us off. I was wondering what was knocking on the door. I guess my migraine is getting worse. Uh... Get comfortable. I think this guy was trying to give his wife a neck massage and accidentally gave her the people's elbow straight into her fucking head and just like fucking like accidentally in the middle of it. Is it simping if it's your wife? Perhaps not. I suppose not. Let's see how the end of this text con this is a long conversation, alright? Actual accident. Chat, everyone knows those don't happen, alright? If someone receives any bodily pain anywhere. All right, obviously there was some sort of crime that was committed. And yes, this we can arrest objects, okay? If I find out that a chair, like she slipped near a chair and took it and like the chair took her out, all right, we're gonna fucking cut that chair in half. We're gonna throw it into a fire. That's how we do things in the real world, all right? That chair is now a felon. Six 
simping is the dumbest internet meme in a while. I have no opinion on simping. All I know is that uh, Simp Daddy 69 er is an excellent username and excellently cursed. Okay? Okay? That, that's all I'm fucking... I'm, I, that's all I'm going off of right now is the cursed name. I'm only doing what you would do for me. I hate to see you feeling like this. Uh, thank you, baby. I wish uh, I was there for you now. See you later then. Are you going, babe? Just checking in. I had to... Uh, it's already healing up. Okay. It looks like she just slipped and, like, fell. So I'm just gonna, like, pop this in there. I was like, why do I need two evidence for this? Shred it. Just simping. Whatever that means. Beverly Oliveres. Wait a minute. Beverly. Isn't this the person that I got fucking wrong last time? Beverly Oliver? And it was that she was being, like, framed? What did I do last time, Chet, for this Beverly person at the courthouse? And she was like, I'm being framed. I crimed her. I crimed her and I didn't get it. I didn't- I think you shredded it? Someone go back in. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Somebody go into the fucking vault and find out what I did. I'll be right back. All right, what'd I do? I shredded? You crimed, you shredded. All right, I'm obviously not gonna get any help uh, with this. I guess I just have to trust my heart. He crimed her, I crimed her. All right. I'm just gonna instantly shred this person. I'm not even gonna ID them. I'm just going to huck them in the shredder and see what happens, because I don't care enough. Bazongus. That was it. All right. Oliver is an instant shred. Whenever we see Oliver, remember we shred them instantly. Olive, shred. Okay, you don't even need to ID these people. If, if they are a shred, you insta shred them. You don't even, you don't, hey! All right, All right. How do I get him to leave my house? How do I get him to get out, chat? No, I'm not a pussy. I grabbed my AK. You best have gotten out of here by now. You're in big trouble. I, I, I'm a police officer. I'll, ca I'll fucking ticket you. you. Better not be in my fucking breaker room. Just don't open the closet he's in. What do you fucking mean, don't open the closet he's in? <laughs> Come on, bro, you gotta let me do my surprise. I'm not doing it, I'm making a YouTube video. I'm making a TikTok about this. It's gonna be epic, but you can't spoil it. It's gonna be really wholesome, I'm doing wholesome pranks on my, on my, on my neighbors. I'm going in there. I fucking like, fuck you. Are you in here? Chat, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? I don't know what to do with this guy. What do I fucking do? I leave him? I'm just gonna, if I sit down, he's just gonna fucking inject me. I don't, I don't know what to do. Hide for a few minutes. I can't afford hiding for a few minutes. 
Chat, what if he's not even in here? I'm, I'm preparing the people's elbow. <laughs> okay, yeah, he was in there. All right. Oh, yeah, so let's get the logic out of the way here, chat. All right, let's get some, let's do some logistics here. Since I've become a statistic, let's talk about, st let's talk about some statistics of our own here. Okay, how much of the time when a murderer breaks into your fucking house and you see them break into your fucking house, do you just ignore them and hope that now that they're in your house, they'll get bored and leave your house? What would you have me do? You know, statistically, nine out of ten murderers that get into the house decide not to actually do the murder. They chicken out in the in the closet. They chicken out in the closet. They leave once they've uh, once they've entered the closet. The closet's where ninety percent of murders end up not happening. Every single time, a hundred percent of the time. What? <laughs> How often, statistically speaking, does a criminal wave in your camera? 100% of the time. <laughs> uh, anytime that you wave at a, at a camera, that means you have no desire to um, respect the camera. That's When someone waves and makes eye contact with a camera, that's because they do not respect the camera and it will not stop them from doing their crime. Okay? So that's 100% of the time. If someone waves at a camera, that means that it does not bother them and they're criming either way. The crime and I, with or without the camera involved, they are crime. Computer and get the night started. Fucking dark room. I'm criming right now. See, chat? Why is every light in my fucking house off? Why? Lock. Lock. Every light in my house is off. Earth Day! It's Earth Day. You guys know what that means. It's Earth Day. I just gotta keep an eye out. Gotta respect Earth Day. Now, Earth Day is over. Uh, it's midnight, so, um... It's close enough to midnight. Oh, yeah. I need to read that email and check out those Shut bonus. up. Crime wench. Nina Winter. Nina Winter, a good family friend of mine, is in college. She recently came back for her break. She brought back all her stuff as well. Her little cousin is 12 years old and borrowed her USB stick that she brought back to use in a school project. To his horror, there were photos of dead bodies in a room, and he came and told me after stressing out about it for three days. I haven't seen the photo, so I can't be sure of it myself because my, her cousin gave it back to her already. To the best of my knowledge, she doesn't know what we know. And her cousin is genuinely scared shitless. Please help sort this out. You got it. If there's one thing I know, it's dead bodies. Female. Let's find Nina. Nina, 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 Nina. Why did I sort it without using any... Oh, there they are. I thought I missed them, but I didn't. Okay. Nina Winter. All right, Nina. You don't have a social profile? What's your sim? What's your sim? Let's make this quick. You criming? Nina, you criming? I swear to God, dude, I'll just leave the fucking closet open all the time. What am I doing? Why don't I just leave it open all the time? He can't get in there if he's if the closet's, like, open. Search history. Chemistry. How to make realistic dead body makeup. Oh, yeah. It's all props. We can shred this. This person's nothing. I'm already... We didn't have a crime involving her before, but we already read her info because we accidentally got to it earlier. So I already know that all of her shit was props. She's like a... She's like a performing arts person. Like, that's all, like, props. 
It was open when he got you. He closed it. Well, now that it's open, we will know when he's in there because it'll be closed. So now if it's closed and we know there's a murderer in there and I can bar the door closed with like a fucking chair, you know, I can like push it in. So apparently Elfman has an audio cue, but he won't give it away unless you want to know. What? Give it away. I don't know. I've been wanting to know it this whole time. What's the audio cue? <laughs> give it away. Give it here. Come on. Give it here. Hand me the info. If you leave the window closest to you open, you will hear light footsteps. It's a risky strategy because you have less time, but you can hear them. What? Uh, I'll live with just instantly dying, I think. I don't think I'm going to leave my window open. I don't think I'm going to leave my window open, Chad. I think I'd rather just... I think I'd rather just die. Layota, Latoya Kirby. Saw this woman. I think this woman could be a child kidnapper or something. I saw her at the park with two children whose mother I personally know. I went up to her, introduced myself, and asked if the kids uh, asked the kids where her mother where their mother was. The attitude of this lady was just ridiculous. She looked at me with this resting bitch face and said, "Yeah, hey, I'm Latoya." Almost instantly after she got defensive, said, "I'm babysitting them." Uh, I just calmed them down. I don't need you getting them all worked up again, asking for their mother. Oh, yeah? You're a babysitter? Well, I'll see about that using DMV searches. Female, hair, brown, eyes, brown, Latoya, activating search servos. Got my popcorn, got my personalized Z-Max glasses. Happy 12th birthday, Kaylee. Auntie Latoya loves you and wants you... And your sister to know that have a great birthday angel go nuts on the cake on the cake okay this seems like this might just be a situation of babysitting but how am i supposed to know without breaching her privacy and going into her cell phone activating cell phone uh privacy breach abilities Your rights as a civilian be damned. I'm going in. I'm a hero. Here I go. Just wanted to check the closet. Local coffee place, fun activities for babysitting. Mm hmm. Two kids still like the park. Mm hmm. 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 Hi. I'm, I'm interested in eating children. I like eating people. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Richard, Fra Richard Fiends. I'd like to eat children. I, I want you to find me some children so I can eat them. <laughs> All right, this person's good. There's no crime here. That's the that's the dead. So that's nothing. All right, next. Jacob Lespink. I found Jacob in our backyard yesterday rummaging around our garden. Hi, it's me Richard. I am a I am a I'm a I'm a child-eating connoisseur. I like eating various children. <laughs> Where can I purchase some to devour? I'd like to eat them. <laughs> Let me give you my information. Let me give you my, let's, let's connect socials. That spooks me. You can't let that one spook you anymore. That's what they want. Yes. All right. Jacob Lesping, uh, l lurking around in people's backyard. I'm not friendly with Jacob. I asked him for a description. Blah, 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 blah. He thought he, uh, saw he told me some parts of his drone came off, and he thought they landed in the garden. Okay, so this guy was, this is, this is a Zoomer droning. Uh, probably making like a tuber video. You know how it is. Tubing. Uh, the drone exploded because no one knows how to drive a fucking drone. Didn't check the toilet. I'm not going to check the toilet. Chat, again, if they're in the toilet, if they're urban exploring in the sewers, they win. All right? Let them have me. They won. All right, Jacob, where you at? Got a new racing drone. Subscribe to my Our Tube page. Knew it. We're doing some sick stunts. We're doing some stunts. Give me your sim info. Let's fucking crack into his privacy. Come on, chat. We're going in. That was
was a really fucking narrow search on that. Hey! Get on out of here! That's right! Ugh, damn it. The internet went out again. My internet's go gone out. The in the back room closet. I have to reset the router in my back room closet. Just checking all the lights, because every single one of them is out. Every light in my house is broken. Don't you need a warrant or something to do that? Now, let me make this real clear for you, crystal clear almost, motherfucker. You talk about what I need as the law again? All right? I'm taking you out. That's all. I'm a vigilante hacker, so the laws don't apply. Search history, best racing drones. Uh, pictures, I'm guessing, are of dead bodies. No, they're of racing drones. Uh, Sam, he's interested in buying. I'd like to buy racing drones so I can find children to eat. <laughs> Hello, it's me. I work for uh, I work for Richard. Uh, I, w I work for Richard the Cannibal. Uh, I'd like to buy racing drones so I can uh, find children to uh, capture with the drone and then eat them. So if you could help me out with buying the best racing drone that could lift up a small child so I can eat them, that'd be excellent. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, yes, here's my address and phone number. I like eating children. Here I go. <laughs> Chad, I'm just going off of like the most damning thing I could find at any point in time, you know? I wanna, p I wanna grab them like a falcon would grab a small rabbit. Uh, so I can, so I can find, so I, we can drop them into a very large, comically large, uh, grill. A George Foreman very large grill and cook them and eat them. Can you help me with that? <laughs> All right, vows, blah, blah, blah. I think we're going over the head. Capture the guest reaction. It's like a wedding thing. This guy's another shred. Shred him. There's no crimes in there. I want in my closet. We're clean, we're clean. All good, all good. Uh. Um. <laughs> Hello? You guys didn't hear that? Someone like banged on the glass. But all the windows are fine. Check the locks, I really should. I just wanted to check the cameras once more before I did. This one's locked. That one's also locked, I can see that. Locked. I don't think these chat. I'm gonna be honest. I've never seen these things unlock. I don't think it's possible for them to unlock Like on their own by accident. I've never seen it happen Okay, these are all still locked Everything's locked I'm gonna move on with my life. If he kills me, he kills me, so be it. Brandon Clinton. All right. I cut right, uh, to cut right to the chase, our neighbor Brandon Clinton is a sick Satanist who's up to something big. All right, I think he's trying to, I think he's trying to summon the devil. After all, his blasphemous views have never gone unnoticed. Also, I think he's one of the, he's, well, he's one who kidnaps cats from the area. Probably for some sick devil rituals or some shit. Time to die? I'm alive. I guess someone was just knocking on my window for no reason. Maybe it's like a stupid moth. It might have just been a very large moth. I do have every light in my house on all the time. It could be a moth. 
Alright, male hair, bald eyes, brown. Brandon Clinton. Not bald. Uh, death is not something to be afraid of. He posts, like, tasteful pictures of statues. Uh. Don't even bother. He's in. He's in my home. Chat, he's in my home. I'm dying. It's time to die. Make peace with your gods, chat. Whichever ones you, whichever ones you hold dear, he's here. In my home. He's gonna inject me with like silly juice. Okay, Brandon. Let's see what, let's see what your fucking phone line says about you. Chat, there is one thing I've noticed about this game's difficulty, and is that there's only two things worth investigating, okay? Uh, in order to narrow down if it's an instant shred. And that is the DMV, because you have to, and immediately the phone. Nothing else matters in the whole game. The only reason to go into any of the other details in this fucking game is just to get extra evidence if you need it. Like, it seems like the phone is the only thing that you actually need to care about in the whole game for like gathering information. Cause everyone like gives away all their crimes lot, like right in their phones. The search info, like everything's there. Search history, death pictures, pictures about death, books about Alec, pictures. Alexa, hey, I saw you on the internet. My mother died of cancer at the age of only 63 years old. I'd like to get your advice. Thank you for turning to us. I'm sorry for your loss. Stay strong. Nothing here. Uh, this brother, this brother Tom, another Satanist, huh? Thanks for the invite, Tom. Uh, there's nothing here. I'm shredding this. Yep. Just a bunch of false claims and stuff today. There's like a ton of false things. My dog in real life is barking. Chat, I don't know why he's barking. Why are they barking? Why are they barking upstairs? Am I about to get, like, murdered? I think... I think Kraken's outside the house. Hang on, Chad. I'm gonna check something. Yeah, he's outside the house. I see. He's just waving at the window right now. He's just, like, waving at me through the window. Go home. Go, go home. He's shaking his head. Oh, God. He's jazz-handing. It's jazz handing. Uh, oh god, now the dog's barking again. Dog's really barking a lot here. Alright, everything's real quiet. Well, technically, we've done our quota. A actually, I would say, ch hey, go on now, scamper off. God, I'm good. Technically, we've already made our quota of four. We're doing really well. Now that we know that we don't need any evidence of we're shredding, dude, we can just fucking like clear these out once we get their cell phone info, like instantly. We got all the upgrades for it. We're gonna start doing real good. My neighbors told me that they saw three to four men in one room and one man enter Hope uh, Street, 124 Hope Street. After about half an hour, they heard screams and moans coming from the inside of the house. All right, all right. They were all hiding their identities. Robbie Linden is one of the suspects. Let's go find him. Male, uh, brown hair. Hey, he's alive. Let's roll. Robbie Linden. All right, Robbie. What's your sim say about you? Orgy? Oh, gee. They were hiding their identities because of the shame. Uh, how much should I spend on an engagement ring? Steamers, tap house menu, uh, pictures, text conversations. David, hey, dude, you're still, you're still cool with us using your house Friday night? Cool as can be. Uh, dude, you're literally making my dream come true here. If, if directing independent horror films is my best friend's dream, then I suppose I can help him out. Wow. 
Man, people report on a whim for almost anything in this fucking game. <laughs> Saw some people walk outside of a house today. Uh, gonna go ahead and call the cops on that one. Uh, something off about that. Don't know if that's normal. I've seen people using houses before, but I'm not too sure if multiple people can live in the same house. Um, that's just not... I don't think they're all married either. So, like, that's... There's definitely some adultery that maybe could be going on. I'm gonna have to, uh, call the cops on this one real quick. Um... Yeah. Saw, saw a person with a child today. Uh, definitely wasn't their uh, parent. That could be anything. Um, the parent was actually in view watching them the whole time because they were actually like another relative, but that's sort of weird to me. Didn't like that. Saw a person pick up a drink uh, off the table today. Didn't like that. Don't think people should be drinking things. Uh, I'm gonna have to call the police on that one. Uh, yeah, saw someone like inhale today. Dirt under their nails. Dirt under the nails, I think. I uh, saw a person, dirt. Didn't take a shower recently by the looks of it. Gonna have to, uh, bring that one in. Death? Why was day one the hardest day? <laughs> Why has day one been harder than all the other days? Brody Stewart. Brody is my cousin-in-law. I'm from my wife's side. A long time ago, he back then, when my wife and I were dating, Brody used to harass us all the time. He would think of some dirty tricks, uh, all sorts of dirty tricks to screw us over. So he's a little prankster. He's pranking. Uh, he was always one of those dicks who went one step too far with his pranks. Well, this time, I think the poor bastard's luck has run out. He started playing a prank on this remote road a while back where he dresses up like some stupid ghost thing and demands that people stop. Watching the news today, I saw a headline about a crash that left a woman seriously injured after a car went out the road and hit a tree. Part of me thinks this is Brody's doing. All right, that's going to be a cell phone search, and that'll be just about it to get his, uh, to get the, get the evidence on that one. Male, brown, black hair, brown eyes. Brody? You little prank- Oh, you look like a pranker. Oh my god, Brody, you look just like a prankster. Oh, baby. Don't drive alone at night. Watch out for ghosty boys. <laughs> Y'all ever just wake up dead at night? Got that hunger for pranking? Got that hunger for being a ghosty boy? What Yet, yet again? Taking up that mantle, 3 a.m.? Where are you going, father? It's 3 a.m. I have to do this, son. You don your ghosty mantle. You walk back out to the dead end road, the dark road, 4 a.m. I have to go, son. I have to. I have to be the ghosty boy. You'll understand when you're older. When am I gonna be a ghosty boy? Someday, son. Well, actually, it's not today. Today, I have to handle this on my own. And then, like, someone just fucking dies because of it, dude. How's a kid supposed to fucking process that? You killed a man, Brody. Is Tanner his son? Tanner's just trying to be a ghosty boy, dude. Tanner's just trying his damnedest to be a ghosty boy, and we're not giving him a chance to do that, and that's a real shame. We're sort of, we're not giving Tanner a good chance to be a ghosty boy on his own, you know? We don't, we don't tolerate ghosty boys around here. Search history, prank ideas, how to fix a broken headlight, realistic ghost costumes. Text convos, Ella, you ready? Yep, call him uh, now, LMAO. Okay, Jason, bro, do you see the news? Everyone's gonna think I did that. I retired the ghost months ago. I don't know what to do. Well, Bazingus. <laughs> Game's getting too easy. Which means a murderer is about to break in and kill me. Oh no. 
I called the subcontractor to get some work done on my house. I got a call a few hours later from a guy who said he was with the company and was up for the job. He asked for the key to my house since it did not, since my hours did not line up with his. Unbelievable. Nope, doesn't even work anymore. Come on, ghosty boy, you're gonna have to try harder to ghost me. Unbelievable. I know there's like situations where you do let someone into your house when you're not there. Uh, I personally couldn't fathom that without already having established like meeting them once. Oh my god. And knowing full well all their fucking inf So what do I do? So what do I do? So what do I do then? Do I just like hang out in like place that isn't my closet? Do I go to like another closet? No. Change game. Mmm. Alright, I'm gonna choose the breaker closet. I summon form of closet with the breaker in it. Now I just hang out for a while, I guess. Dude, my tummy hurts. This is hurting my stomach. This is quite literally killing me. So when do I know when I can leave? You think he's gone? Think he's gone? I'm gonna give it another 20 seconds and I'm getting back out there. Cause any longer than like car guy's gonna get here. I'm gonna check if Kraken's away on like Discord. Fuck. Shit. He's still away. He went online. Please. I will not be able to fucking believe this if he's still in here. That was a lot of time I spent in that closet. I'm gonna open it. Chat. I'm gonna open it. Play like normal. Check if windows are open. That's actually a good. That's a good shout. What do you want me to just like get back on the computer and act like Chad? He's gone. He's gone. I need to check the fucking closet, bro. You want me to like sit down and play it cool like there wasn't a guy in there? You fucking psychos. I mean, what do you lose by getting back on the computer? Well, if he's in the clock, I mean, same deal. What do I lose from just trying to open the door? I hate him. I hate him. All right, whatever. I've sat down on my computer. Here I go. Well, isn't that a right fucking mess? Anyone trying to uh, break into my windows now? That sounds like about the time. I've made my quota. We can do this all night. If the lights are off, I don't think he breaks into uh, the room. The lockpick guy. As long as all the windows are locked and the lights are on, he will not break it. Okay. I'm getting back to work. I have had too much stuff sidetrack me from 
work. I'm getting back to work. Unknown. Let's do this. Male, gray hair. This is the guy from like the, the, the construction job or whatever, the contractor work. 40 to 50. Security cameras. Fuck off. Thanks. I gotta check the lights again. I don't trust this fucking, like, I don't trust the, the pick locker. All the windows look fine. So that means he definitely can't be in here. All right, cool. I'm gonna leave this open again now. He can't be in my closet. He can't be in two places at the same time. Okay, weight, 195-ish. Right in the middle ground there. Height, uh, six feet tall. This isn't gonna find anything. Kip Brown, okay, it found some. Kip Brown. Does not have a social media. Search his sim. Got anything on police records? Fuck off. What was that? I should get some rest. I'm dead? I'm alive? I did it! I won the day! It was another weird thing where I was like transitioning through a screen so it like didn't recognize, it didn't like do like the, the fade out properly. I did finish the day though. I technically, I technically did it. Wow, that one was fucking exhausting. Holy shit, my stomach hurts. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Can I like, can you guys give me like a fucking two second stretch sesh? For like a second? Ah! Ah! Oh! My stomach is really like tight. I got like a stomach ache in my like, right, right below my solar plexus. Ah! Oh! Ah! Alright. Okay, what is this, day four of seven? Or day four or five. I think this game works on Five Nights at Freddy's rules, so I think this is day four or five. I've also heard that the casual mode ending is super not good, so we're probably, if we do end up beating this, we're probably gonna be a little disappointed at the end, but I'm okay with that. I don't feel like I deserve a real ending for playing on journalism mode. Ah. Oh. E. Okay, I'm feeling better now. It's really tight for some reason. My muscles. All right, let's make sure all these are locked. It's a big fucking day. This is when it gets rough. I keep all my lights off because I care about the environment. All right, I care about the environment. So I keep all the lights off. Alright, alright. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Everything's cool. I left every window open. I like I like I chat I like surprises on my like table like a raccoon breaking in and hanging out, okay? That's good. I like those. I like little surprises like that. Hanging out. Hello? I just tried to sit down, my character got back up. Okay, let's take a look, a peek around the perimeter. Report desk. My Wi-Fi is already out. My Wi-Fi is out. I didn't even get to play yet. I didn't get to play the game yet. What the hell? Oh, I didn't even check this fucking room. And the window was open still. Oh. Oh, 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 Just gotta turn back on the Wi-Fi. E-Link. All right. Everything's cool, bro. Nothing to worry about. No problem. Hey! Oh, I thought that was him. I, I, I'm just yelling at like fucking street lamps now. 
I thought that was him, like, I thought that was him running right towards me through the fucking window. I didn't know what to, I thought, I was gonna, like, turn on the flashlight. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Okay, I'm good. I'm better. Just need a second. This game makes you really, like, throw up -y. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Game gives me like gas, man. I, I guess that's like a good review for the game is to describe it as it gives me gas. Madison Pearson. This has to be the 10th time I've seen Madison let her Pomeranian shit and not pick up after it. I tried asking her plenty of times nicely. Someone needs to teach this lady a lesson on proper procedure. I'm just gonna go ahead and do you a favor and shred this one. There's no way there's a crime in this. I bet my life on it. All right, cool. I'm getting better at saving time. Uh, Fuck off? Um, fuck off! What? It's cool, epic. I guess that was good because it was early that it bugged out. I definitely li shined my light on it multiple times there. Uh, <laughs> I, I definitely did it all properly there. I don't know if you guys all saw that but I switched to multiple cameras and flashed him multiple times. There. Fuck you. He's got, he got sunglasses on now. He's, he's impervious to light. Okay. I should get to my computer and get the night started. We can only, it's only uphill from here, chat. I mean, downhill. It's only gonna get easier. Don't worry. It's all coming together. So, are we in agreement that this is a bad game? This is definitely not a bad game. I don't know where you got that from. <laughs> this game is definitely not a bad game. This game is a pretty good game. I, I there's a bug in the game. Um, that's ah, trash. I'm throw it in the garbage where it belongs, dude. I died. This game doesn't have any silly ragdolls. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to LOL at this? You know what I'm saying? I'm not seeing anyone, like, fall oh, over. Yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. Unknown. Went to pick up my kids from school and saw someone hanging around outside the parent pickup area. I'm not sure if they were new to the system in place or what. Waiting for my kids to collect their things, I watched a woman sit in her car staring at the other kids as they came out. Not the strangest behavior considering that's what most parents are doing. The strange thing was, she started yelling into the crowd of kids, almost as if she didn't know who she was picking up from school. The kids that eventually went over and looked unsure if they were if they should enter the car, but ultimately did. Mmm, okay, alright. He's in the house. No, he's not. Well, at least I know now that if he gets in through the camera thing, it is quite literally instantaneous and there is no stopping it once it's happened. So, like, at the very least, now I know nothing matters, you know? It's all meaningless, nothing matters when it comes to that one. Wait, 150 to 175. I didn't mean to search it yet, but it's disturbing that I didn't even get anything out of that. I need to buy an upgrade. Uh, okay. Age, 30 to 40. Height, five to six. Nothing. 125 to 200. There it is, okay, it's one of these two. Whichever one is closest to our uh, weight that we targeted. Wow, this would be Clara Webb. All right, Clara. Let's see what your deal is, Clara. Let's see what your problem is, Clara. What's your problem? Rootkit. Let's get in there. I lost. It. Nope. All right, Clara. I thought I saw him in the distance there, but I was wrong. He's already in the house. What am I thinking? He's not. We're good. 
I didn't remember to open the closet. He's probably in the closet. He's already, he's already in. He's in the house. Search history. Anderson, how to pick up uh, Anderson Middle School student registry pictures. Text convos. Trisha's Aaron. Hey, hey, honey, where are you? Still inside. Need to pick something up. Please don't call me honey. But you've never had a problem with me calling you that. Auntie, please. It's so dumb. Trisha. Okay, this is... I don't think this is anything. I'm gonna shred this. I'm not doing any more research on this. I I'm too lazy. What a shocker. Most of my fucking crimes are just misfiles nowadays. <laughs> They're almost all misfiles. It's all quiet. It's all real, real quiet. Roy McNulty. Okay, this is the murder guy. Okay, Roy, we can get this one done really quickly. I know this guy. Gender, male, hair color, gray, eyes, blue. Go grab Roy. We already know the crimes for him. So we can just grab him really quick. He's the guy who, like, murders people for a living. So we just need to get his SIM card info. And root kit it. Oh my god. Fucking hell, Roy! You're getting some real fucking security on your line, Jesus! Text convos, Grady. That's evidence. Pictures. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's. I'm pretty sure it's those two, and then something from the buy section from Credit DB. Roy McNulty. I'm pretty sure he has like. Some stuff in his buy history that's very damning for him. A hockey goalie mask. No. Vinyl. Heavy duty uh, hook. Thread cord. Chainsaw. I mean, none of that's really the thing. I think it's just these texts. I think it's all three texts. Ship it. Okay, one of the texts was bad. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. One of those texts wasn't it. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Better luck next time. He is a murderer, but he, you gave you gave us honestly too much info. Is the problem? You need to keep it brief, bro. I gotta check my lights. Good. Everything is fine. Everything's good. Let's get back to it. I swear to God, I'm gonna see him out the window one of these days running at me, and I'm not gonna have the fucking, not gonna have the security camera on, so he's gonna merge through the fucking wall and get me. Next, Henry Madsen. As I was talking with the neighbor's boy, Jonas, yesterday, I had noticed some bruises. They were on his arms and his legs. When I asked him about it, he assured me that he was just clumsy and it was his fault. While that is a possibility considering he likes to skateboard around the neighborhood, I'm reluctant to believe that's where all the bruises came from. We'll see about that. So he's worried that his dad's, like, like, harass, like, beating him, essentially. Alright, TMV, male... He's worried that either there's a bully or something else. Hair brown, eye color green. Uh, age 35 to 40. I mean, we have his fucking name, so we're gonna just pull up the Henry. That's not a... So what, are you gonna, like, fucking get in my closet now? Should I just, like, fucking welcome you in? Come in, sir! Okay. Back to it. Please, help yourself to my hospitality. Come on in. Welcome. Police record? Ugh, damn it. The internet went out again. The internet? Need to go reset the router in the backroom closet. Fuck off, sir.
The other light I did last time and it didn't work. Okay, the other angle I did last time and that didn't do shit. Okay. <laughs> so I did it this angle this time because I thought it must be this angle. Oh my God, detach quickly. Oh. There it is, man, I'm dead. Simple as that, I'm gone. All right. That's cursed, I'm done. I'll catch you guys, uh, I'll catch you guys on Thursday. All right. I'm out. That's gonna be it for me. I can't take it anymore. I'm tired. All right, I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys on Thursday. I'll be back. Uh, I gotta take tomorrow off because I got some stuff to do with the doctor. So I'll be back then. All right. I'm gonna. Ooh, actually, the timing. This might be the last day of the longing. I guess I can't just wrap up quickly. I'm fairly certain the game exists even if you don't end it right away. Because you just choose not to wake up the guy, I'm going to assume. But let's switch to the longing. We have 42 minutes left. Until the end of the game, but we can speed that up by reading a book. If I go back in here and I speed through a book really quickly, I can actually like skip this whole time. But yeah, we're just gonna, we'll read the notifications while time is ticking down. And then we can see from there. Uh, the Pooba, thanks for the eight months. Ura Talon, thanks for the nine months. Prime High Mouth, thanks for the four months. Roll Crit Fail, thanks for the 17 months. Prowler Pangolo, thanks for the three months prime. Uh, Unclever Name One, thanks for the six months. Inquisitor Kodo, thanks for the three months as well. Thank you very much. Doc Scratch, six months prime. Roxas 199, thanks for the 16 months prime. Daywolf, thanks for the 18 months. Uh, Jim C. Goodfellas, thanks for the four months. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, four months, thank you. Uh, yeah. Arkin, 11 months. Dugong Guy, 12. Eight months prime. Trojan Man, 12 months. Thank you very much. Uh, lose them too, 12 months prime. Junksor, four months. Keek has 76. Five months. Thank you. Mick KM Mac, thanks for the nine. Tired Cacti, 13 months. Hound, 328, th 13 months as well. Zeptia Step, thanks for the 17 months. Thank you very much. Waver Sun Crowley, thanks for the 63 months prime. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, chat, that, game, that game's good. I like to scrutinize. Uh, it's just that, like, I, I, I've definitely, if I were to play it again, it would be like a half of a stream thing, and it would be just to check out the, uh, police stuff, like the actual story stuff. I, I ain't good enough to do much more than that. But, uh, yeah, sorry I can't run for longer today. I'm, uh, my top, my stomach. I think I got, I think I got some heartburn. I think I gotta take some heartburn stuff after this. Got some, got some stomach ache shit happening here. And stretching ain't getting rid of it. Which is mainly why I'm wrapping up a little early. It's not going away, no matter what I do. Eat those Tums? I already did and it didn't do anything. I don't know. But uh, yeah, and then tomorrow I got a, I got a thing going on. So I don't know what I'm gonna be doing on Thursday yet, but you'll, you'll know as soon as I know, but I will definitely be here on Thursday. I will definitely be streaming something. It'll be something new that I haven't done before. All right? It'll be something surprising and something wacky. Uh, Gringle Pop, thanks for the nine months prime. Uh, Tiger Gage, thanks for the four months prime. Very kind. Mr. Ryan, 6262, thanks for the hundred bits. Uh, thank you very much. Dark Days, 93, four months prime. Are you read your message? Thank you for the fucking subscription. Uh, Moses the Talking Frog, thanks for the 12 months prime. Uh, Death of Ill, 222, thanks for the two months as well. Uh, Sigur, thanks for the 19 months prime. Rasfet, 12 months. Harp, 2142, thanks for the prime. Serious Cat Addict, 14 months. Diesel Dragon, 7 months. Sea Money Gaming, thanks for the 20 gifted fucking subscriptions. Thank you very much, Sea Money Gaming. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. Hellraven, 123, thank you for the prime. 
Zana Bianca, thanks for the prime as well. The Duke of Cox, thanks for the four months. Dogman, two months. Mr. Zippy Cat, three months. Manactanac, 18 months. Mr. Mean Bean, 454, thanks for the two months. Monte Meme, thanks for the prime. Pseudomore, 15 months. Six, 5763, thanks for the eight months. Garahad, thanks for the seven. Dugan Storm, four months. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, where am I? Numbnuts Forever, thanks for gifting a sub. Calamity Salmon, thanks for the 20 months. Young Pepe Fresh, 420 Aqua, thanks for the 10 months as well. Honest Zombie, thanks for the nine months. Hey, Tomato, I've really enjoyed watching you play this. Uh, made me jump and laugh. LOL. Really needed, uh, sadly, I've lost my job while in a custody battle. So I'm, like, scrambling for a job. Well, I hope it works out for you, man. I hope you, uh, I hope you find something soon. I know it's a rough time to get jobs. So hopefully shit, uh, starts working out and looking up. Uh, Bear Lord, thanks for the three months, Prime. A warm, comfy bed, thanks for the nine months. Big Luke Man, thanks for the 12. 13 minutes, chat. Technically, like, four. Bleepy Bloop, 11 months. Thank you. I Magister, two months prime. Uh, Seren Grass. Seren Guess. Seren Guess, 83. Eight months prime. Will Clan Wolf, thanks for the dead months. Billy Bob Cletus, five. Get the subscription to the channel. Thank you very much, Billy Bob Cletus. Rene, six months. Arcto Stefio, Stefilo Uva Ursi, 10 months prime. Void Tonics, two months. Hanako Ikezawa. 13 months, thank you. Razgrim, two months prime. Vok, tier two subscription, 17 months. Thank you very much. Ginger Leprechaun, two, thanks for the two months prime. 11 months prime, sorry. 11 months prime. When to go the drunk, thank you for the four months. Jaded Oni, thank you for the 13 months prime. Pico Pico, 14 months. Jello Cubed, thanks for the six months prime. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thrifty Shell. Five months. TS Proggy, four months prime. Demon Wolf 003, thanks for the six months. Koopsay Red, eight months prime. Aranast, seven months. Thank you very much. Quiet Hawk, three months. Mouth Sweet, 400 bits. We were here, damn right. You're all here for it. We're gonna sit and stare until it's time. Quiet Hawk, thanks for gifting a sub. Three. More minutes until it's all over. Mr. Ryan, 62, 62, thanks for another 400 bits. Two minutes until it's all over, ladies and gentlemen. 400 days of the longing. Don't be late. Oh, God, I'm going to be late. Get up. Run. Ah! 30 seconds. 400 days have passed. Fun. I can awaken the king. But will I? Yes, I will. Four hundred days have passed. The wait is finally over. How will the king reward his most faithful guardian? It's time to wake up. be dead!
dead. My faithful shade, you have awakened me and I have kept my promises. I have created a world without longing by destroying everything in it. Oh. Nice. I just fucking destroyed it all. All life has perished, but we need it no longer. We shall forever rule this eternal kingdom. They're all dead. We killed the entire surface, Chad. They're all dead. Jeez, imagine being on the surface, you know what I'm saying? Bad end for you, <laughs> losers on the surface, idiots. Underwhelming. I waited 400 days for this. I'm angry. It's me, chat member. It's like a bunch of endings from what I've gathered. Chat, it's about what you make of it. It's not about like, I didn't fucking, I didn't get like a fucking deep story coming out of a game, an idle game that's supposed to play in the background of my computer. I'm angry. I'm mad now. Enjoy it for what it was, which was a very long, like, little experimental thing. Yeah, I liked it. And thus, my outro will now be... Uh, can I refund it? Nah, I don't think so. I, uh, I don't think, um... I don't think I can get a refund on this one. I think this one's been running too long, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm out. Chat. Hobbit Catcher, thanks for the prime. I'll see you guys on Thursday. All right. I'm out of here. We're going to raid, uh... We're going to raid... We're going to raid... Fucking... Charborg. We're going to raid Charborg. We're going to raid Charborg. All right. I'll see you guys on, uh... See you guys on Thursday. Maybe something will change and I'll be able to do something tomorrow evening. Who knows? But if I do, it'd be at like it'd be like a secret stream and it would be like late. Okay? It would be like real late. Like not like 7 p.m. or like like 8 p.m. my time. So don't count on that. Okay? All right. I'll see you guys uh, I'll see you guys Thursday. Thanks for watching. This was fun. We'll be doing new stuff starting Thursday. Got a bunch of new shit planned. Didn't want to do any of it today, because I knew today might be a weird day. What with... What with me having stuff to do? Alright, see you guys. Bye-bye.